Hello, everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of Super Saturday Morning, your source for vintage cartoons, commercials, and anime with a brand new broadcast premiering live every Saturday morning at 7.45 a.m. Eastern right here on YouTube. So the past few weeks have been a little messy. I had to re-upload the bonus episode without a segment that caused the original to be blocked in a bunch of countries except the United States and a few days later, it got blocked in all territories anyway. Can't make this up. For some reason, though, the original broadcast episode, bonus bonus episode um, that is still up, um, you know, it's still there, even though it has mainly the same content that would have gotten it blocked anyway. So if you're not in the UK and a bunch of other countries that are not the United States, uh, you can still go and watch it in its original form. Um, so then last week's, uh, episode, I had promised a show called Karate Master, but it ended up being blocked. Um, episode 22 of Super Saturday Morning took longer than usual to get uploaded because of other copyright issues that are too lengthy to address here. And I had some sound issues while doing the monologue for that show. You would have noticed, uh, that it sort of cuts out at one point and then I announced the show's very beginning very awkwardly. Um, I am very sorry about all of this. To address some of the technical issues that I have been having on my end, I went ahead and invested in a brand new computer. It should ship out to me tomorrow, which means Tuesday, since I am recording this on a Monday. So what I am hoping to do is possibly start working on a bunch of episodes for Super Saturday Morning, upload them onto YouTube, schedule their broadcasts, and have all of that out of the way while I work on transferring everything to my new computer. This process might take some time, and at the very worst, we might have to miss a week or two, possibly, of Super Saturday morning episodes. Obviously, I'm going to try to do everything possible to make sure that we don't miss a week, but keep in mind that even though using a new PC to edit all of this together, um, this will obviously make things easier for me in the long run, but the process of changing to a new computer and getting my whole layout onto a brand new rig is going to be a pain in the ass, especially when you take into consideration that I, I just already don't have enough time during the week as it is. Uh, the older I get, the more I realize that the most valuable thing you can give anyone in this world is your time, because once it's gone, you'll never get it back. And, you know, most of us don't have any of it as it is. That's why a lot of people really hate their jobs, you know. They in some way or another realize that the time that they give is to their employer. Um, it's not worth the money that they're receiving from them. But I digress. Since I'm going to keep my old computer as well, I'm going to have to move things around and make sure that I have enough room for everything. While I am excited to get a new PC and to be able to play all the newest PC games with the nice graphics and the smooth gameplay, this is going to be a super daunting task um, organizing all of this. And personally, I am not looking forward to it at all. The good news is that I am not even going to think about using this brand new computer until I have purchased two identical monitors for it. Since they will, these will be on the pricey end, um, it will probably be around four to six weeks until that happens. So... Even though the new PC is on its way, the boulder won't roll downhill until the monitors are purchased and shipped out to me. Uh, so there is still time to maybe get a couple of these broadcasts in the can before I work on setting up my new desktop. Before we read off today's you know, content for the episode, I would like to ask that if you have not already, to please... Subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, leave a comment below, and share this video and channel on your social media. Right as I'm recording this, we were at 56 subscribers. If we get to 100 subscribers, you will get a bonus episode. If you've already subscribed, you know, liking the video, commenting, and sharing will help me out in the, with the YouTube algorithm, which means I'll get more subscriptions, which means you will get your bonus episode sooner. So please subscribe, hit the like, leave a comment, and share this with your peers. For today's episode, we have Drac Pack, 
The Thing, The Three Musketeers, Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids. We got our premiere, uh, The Mighty Orbots. This is a real good one. I think you guys will like it. Ulysses 31, Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, we're not quite near the finish line, but you know we're we're getting there for Dungeons and Dragons. Um, it's definitely under ten for sure. Uh, Conan the Adventurer, Project Geeker, got Space Sheriff Shader, Shider. I don't know how how I should say it exactly. I'm just gonna say Shider. Space Sheriff Shider, Japanese Spider Man. We got another premiere of uh, Panzer World Galliant. I think you will like that one a lot. Berserk, and one that I'm real excited for, Fist of the North Star. Now, I love Fist of the North Star. This is the movie version which sort of summarizes the original manga and show, but it's still awesome regardless. If you have Crunchyroll, um, there is a Fist of the North Star show um, that you can watch there that is also spectacular. Um, if I could, I would obviously show it on here, but YouTube will not let that go down. If you like this movie, I think you will like the show um, where they tell you the whole story, um, not just a summary like in this movie. But yeah, the story for Fist of the North Star is amazing. It's a you know post-apocalyptic world due to a nuclear holocaust where the world is barren, food and water are scarce, and the strong and evil prey on the weak and innocent. Fist of the North Star follows a badass martial artist named Ken, who searches the wastelands for his lover Julia, who is kidnapped after being attacked by Shin, a man he once considered a friend. You'll watch Ken fight his way through evil biker gangs and fellow martial artists to find the woman he loves in this head-exploding, gut-busting, gory anime movie. Stick around after the uh, movie to listen to a couple of musical tracks from the anime performed live by the creators of the music, Kodomo Band. Yes, this is one of those rare times where I'll tell you about something irregular being inserted into the show. Uh, into the show, sorry. But let's stop talking about the show so you can just go ahead and start watching it. Grab a seat, grab some nourishment of some sort, and enjoy episode 23 of Super Saturday Morning. From the monsters of the past comes a new generation dedicated to reversing the evil image of their forefathers. Under the leadership of none other than Count Dracula, known as Big D, three teenagers form the Dupiter Group, named the Dracula. With special powers, they can transform into super and mighty monsters and use their skills against all evildoers especially the diabolical Dr. Dread and his renegade rescues Toad, Fly, Mummy Man, and Vampira, a group known as Ogre, the organization of generally rotten enterprises. It's right versus wrong, good over free, niceness against naughtiness. That's the dedication of the terrific trio, Frankie, Howler, and Drag Jr., the Drag Pack. How oh, kind of you to remember my natal day. We wouldn't forget you. We even got you a cake. Here, Dr. Dre, happy birthday. What? You call that crumb a birthday cake? That miniature muffin? But uh, I baked it myself. You half-baked bumblers, my birthday is a big event. So big that the whole world must know, and I'll see that it does. You green apple dumpling, I told you the cake was too small. <laughs> Super stupido. If we could only surprise Dr. Dredd with a gift he'd really like. Oh, and I know just the thing. Empire, come with me. Ha! 
I'm starving. I hope dinner's going to be ready soon. It will be. Just get cracking with the french fries. They're on their way, right? Good work, Frank. Uh, can you fix some toast, Howler? It'll be a sniff. <laughs> Oops. I hope you like cold wheat. <laughs> Quite right. It needs some of this and a touch of this. Oh, uh, right. Do you know what you're doing? Are you kidding? I was raised in the kitchen. What? What? Look! Don't worry, Howler. It just needs one more pinch of yeah, right. Your recipe was dynamite. Yeah! You raised the kitchen! Happy birthday to Dr. Dredd! Happy birthday just for me! I'm celebrating high for all the world to see! It's Dr. Dredd! Right, and I'm going to let everyone know it's my birthday, whether they want to or not, Mac! That's drunk! And you're disturbing the peace, Dredd! Well, la di da Try and stop me! Happy birthday just for me! la di da Happy birthday just for me! It already has. Big D wants us to contact him immediately. Happy birthday just for me. Everyone will celebrate from sea to shining sea. You've got to do something about this noise. It's dreadful. You're right, Big D. I've never heard such off-key singing. And I'm afraid it's not the last we'll hear from Dredd today. His birthday has just begun. Happy birthday just for me. Everyone will celebrate from sea to shining sea. He's cracking my cousin. Oh, after him. Big D's right. Dredd's idea of a happy birthday is making everyone else unhappy. Let's go. My fly paper banner ready? Yes, it's flying. It will make your birthday stick in everyone's mind. Go, go. You see, Toad? This is how it's done. Toad! Toad! Now, where is that amphibious flake? He is gone, Dr. Fred. Uh, you know something? Vampires can't do. Vampire is gone to without my permission. How dare they? We'll be back with a present before Dr. Dredd even knows we're born. Look, a birthday gift. The drug pack. Hey, there's a Dr. Dredd and a ham. And he's draping the bridge with his birthday banner. Hit the brakes, Freddy. <laughs> to stop Dred's birthday binge. You've really torn it this time, Toad. I think you could use this. Bad Toad, bad Toad. Now everyone knows it is your birthday, Dr. Dred. Not everyone, Fly, but they soon will. Because when it comes to my birthday, the sky's the limit. What a beautiful afternoon. Not a cloud in the sky. Hey, what's happening? But Dr. Dredd's blocked the sun. Our day is ruined. I think they got the message, Fly, and so will thousands of others. And the letters will last for hours. It's getting dark and no sign of the track. Now we're coming into a cloud bank. They're lost. Don't worry, Vampire. I'll break them up with a cold cup to chopper. That does it. Well, see anything now? Yes. Oh, boy, goody. Unfortunately, it's the dredgeable. The dredgeable? Oh, no. If Dr. Dredd sees us, he'll ruin our surprise. But we don't have any. I'm taking evasive action anyway. Toad, pull up, pull up. <laughs> 
too late for. <laughs> you hazy headed green glob, look what you propose! Don't blow your stack, vampire. <laughs> of handsome men, and I get stuck with an ugly toad. Slow down, fly. I want to see how many letters are holding up. Oh, no! What? Someone's massacred my message! I suspect the track pack. I agree, but even they won't be able to stop my next birthday announcement. Full speed ahead, Fly! I'm about to pick on the path! How can we find the dredgeable in this fog? Forget the dredgeable! We can't even find the road! <laughs> well, the dragster needed a car wash anyway. What's that? Oh, 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 it's gonna be a car squash! If we don't get out of here, we're in trouble! Whoa, now we're in double trouble! Water? Bad toad. Good work, Howard. That gust was just in time. Thanks, Dredd. Any sign of Dr. Dredd? I'm not sure. There are some strange lights in the distance. We'd better check them out. Hey, turn off that light. It's getting closer. Hey, how do you expect us to get any sleep? I don't believe it. Dredd's outdone himself this time. Ahoy down there! How do you like the way I lit up my light, Drac? That's Drac, and we're pulling your plug. Nag, nag, nag! I was hoping you'd say that, mummy man. Get ready. <laughs> I just love playing dominoes. Hey, good move, Frankie. <laughs> move it, mummy, you overgrown ragamuffin. <laughs> Don't worry, mummy man. We're ready for the final phase of my birthday scheme. Fly, full speed ahead. You don't tell a fly how to fly. Hit it, Howard. Red's getting away. Or oh, it's up, up, and away! Don't lose him, Howley. I'm right on his tail. I wonder where Dred's headed. Wait a minute. We're right over Pack Headquarters. Ah, home sweet home. And the Dredgeables landed. And so are we. Hang on. Uh -huh, here they come. Get ready with plan A. They're inside. Hey, Ogus locked us out. 
Don't worry, Howdy. Just stand back. No, Frankie! Stop! Boy, that was easy, Rack. But it's our front door, and I have the key. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Sorry. Now, where is that tricky trespasser? Come out, Dread. The game is up. Correction, Jack. It's just beginning. That's Drack. peek a boo And you won't get away with this, Dread. Wrong. It's you who won't get away. Even the floor is sealed. We'll see about that. <laughs> Nothing. Allow me, Howdy. Nothing here either. I'll turn to mist. Sorry, boy. This steel box is vapor-proof, wind-proof, and triple-thick. However, there is plenty of internal ventilation. So enjoy your stay at home while I enjoy the rest of my birthday. Come, Olga, we have work to do. And if I know dread, it's dirty work. Here are the missiles, Dr. Dredd. You know what to do, mummy man. Yes, mummy man. Just a few more missiles and I can launch pack headquarters into orbit with the track pack inside. We gotta hurry, Vampire. Forget about our birthday present. We've really lost the draft pack this time. Oh, Vampire. Food is never at a loss. We'll check out Pack Headquarters. They got to come home sometime. Good job, Mummy Man. Fly. Now back to the Dreadnought for our countdown. There's the drag ship. I'll make a nice landing. Nice landing, Toad. Empire, look what I found. <clears throat> Here, Toad, let me give you a hand. Or two. <laughs> oh, it must be some super new invention of tracks. Look at all of them. All loaded? Yes, what a wonderful extra birthday surprise for Dr. Train. <clears throat> Sounds like someone's outside. Maybe we can attract their attention. Good idea, right? Let's get back to the dreadnought, Vampire. What's that noise? We must have set off a burglar alarm. Quick, find it! This must be it. Well, turn it off, Ward Knuckles. <laughs> The track pad. Oh, no! Let's get out of here. We're outnumbered. Follow them. Here they come. They must be after that adventure. But we have it. <laughs> I'll catch them. Hold on, Howler. Just stay behind, and they'll lead us straight to Dr. Dredd. Toad, they're right on our tail. Good. I'll lead the pack back to the Dreadnought and my terrible trap. What are you gonna do, swallow them? Red now, they're the hell. But now, people hide. I'm going to make Dr. Dredd very happy. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, Dr. Dredd. We're going through. Where'd they go? Look, that way. They won't escape this time. He's right, Vampire. They won't. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? If I didn't know better, I'd say this is the mold for a gigantic birthday cake. And we're the filling. Yeah, along with ten tons of quick dried cement. <laughs> well, Toad, are you finished? Yes. Now that we've gift wrapped Dr. Dredd's present, we can get the cake. Huh? Cake's done. Ready? It needs decoration, you insensitive blob. I'll take care of the icing. Huh? Hurry it up! Mm -hmm. I love birthdays. We mustn't forget the candles. There. Beautiful.
beautiful. Just dreadfully beautiful. Toad, park the dreads in the control room. Are we ready? Mm, delicious. Keep your ice and picking fingers off my frosting, vampire. My, aren't we getting to be a testy toad? Now, let's wheel it away. Oh, I just love surprise parties. It's no use. We can't get out. I've heard of traps, but this takes the cake. And now for the finale to my birthday blast. I hope Drank and his pack in the box enjoy the view from outer space. <laughs> What's going on here? Who turned out the lights? I did. Toad! Happy birthday, Dr. Dread. Oh, Toad, you shouldn't have. What a lovely cake. It's got your favorite filling. Oh, may I cut the first slice? I think you'll need this. Really? But first, blow out the candles and make a wish. I always wanted to give Ogre their just desserts, but not like this. Yeah, it makes me mad. Real mad. I wish. What are they doing here? See, I told you he'd be surprised. Dr. Dredd, I captured the pack as a special birthday present for you. Quick, mummy man, gift wrap them. I'm still mad. <laughs> Give them the work. Yes, let them eat cake. Push, fly. Leave this to me. A good cake always rises. What happened? Maybe too much yeast? <laughs> Ogre, charge. All right, you asked for it. Stop. Let them go. Let them go? There'll be no fighting on my birthday. You are free to go home. I can't believe it. Gosh, happy birthday, Dr. Dredd. Isn't it? <laughs> if you only knew. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, look at these holes. I'm gonna have to do something about them gophers. But Dr. Dredd, why did you let them leave? So they could return home. See, there they are now. In a moment, the missiles I've planted around pack headquarters will launch it into orbit for a hundred years. <laughs> missiles around pack headquarters. Missiles. Uh, Dr. Dredd, I think... Quiet. This is the crowning moment of my career. But, but, but... Fire! Another surprise? Happy birthday, Dr. Dredd. Well, how about a bite to eat? I'll cook. No, thanks. Besides, that birthday cake spoiled my appetite. You know, I still can't believe Dr. Dredd just let us go. Well, even a bad guy can have a good day. You might be right. I hope Dr. Dredd has an out-of-this-world birthday. Birthday bungers! But Dr. Dredd, how was I supposed to know? Honest, how was I to know? This is the last time I listen to you, Ward Fess. <laughs> Party bumpers! Bah! Kids today! From the most popular television show of all, the most exciting play adventure of all, American characters, action men from Bonanza, the Cartwrights, Hoss, Ben, and Little Joe. So true to life, they'll make every kid feel he's right on the Ponderosa. Hey, this is great. 
It sure is great. Kids will recognize Little Joe's Pinto, Hoss's Stallion, Ben's Palomino. They can even buy the Cartwright's mortal enemy, Six-Gun Slade, the meanest desperado in the West. These are the most lifelike replicas ever designed. The Cartwrights move their heads, arms, and legs. Stand, sit, kneel, ride horseback. You can help kids build up their Ponderosa empire and your sales by stocking the fabulous Bonanza 4-in-1 wagon. It's the greatest Western wagon ever built. The covered wagon, complete with accessories, will make kids' imaginations run wild. The thrilling ranch wagon offers endless opportunities for kids to create excitement. The chuck wagon, mmm, you can almost smell the bacon frying, comes with 18 cooking utensils. The ore wagon has eight prospecting tools for a gold mine of fun. And believe it or not, they're all one wagon with 70 accessories. That's why the Bonanza 4-in-1 wagon means four times more fun. The Cartwrights have been America's number one TV family for five years. Clean cut, wholesome, and always ready for adventure. They'll make every kid feel he's right on the Ponderosa. Make sure you stock the full Bonanza line for a Bonanza of sales. Buy American Character, the hottest brand around. <laughs> Homecoming dance. What lucky girl will be crowned homecoming queen? Who else? Betty. She told you she's running for it? Not in so many words, Benji. She just asked me what size crown I thought she'd wear. Maybe she'll let me manage her campaign. This is certainly a strong breeze for such a sunny day. Miss Twilly! Ding, ring, do your thing! my campaign than you. Terrific. But I've already decided on Ronald. Oh. Oh, well. Sorry, sport, but I've got what it takes to win elections. Yeah. Money, money, and money. All right, you guys, listen good. This year's meeting is to choose a real Yancey Street girl to run against Betty, a homecoming queen. I, I, I nominate my girl, Tessie. Hey, what about my girl, Dottie? Now, there's a real doll. <laughs> yeah, but I'm the leader, so we're picking my girl, Sophie Hickenlooper. Hi, guys. What's shaking? Sophie Hickenlooper makes me sick. What did you say? Uh, uh, I said Sophie Hickenlooper's a great chick. <laughs> oh, that's better. Honey, you're going to knock him dead? <laughs> well, we're dying already. Uh, how Win when Ronald can spend all his old man's bread on Betty's campaign. Don't worry, Stretch Fancy Pants ain't gonna beat us. Oh, yeah, he ain't gonna beat us. Uh, uh, why not? Because we're gonna cheat. <laughs> Where are we going, Ronald? To the airport, my future queen. We're launching a publicity campaign to make you the most famous girl in town. How come we're tailing old money bags, Ronald? We gotta know what that creep is doing in the campaign so we can louse them up. <laughs> Vote for Betty. <laughs> oh, rats, I'm out of smoke. Oh, pilot. We'll have to land. I need another cylinder of smoke. OK, Ronald. Look, Ronald's sky riding for Betty. What are you going to do for me, Spike? 
Not to worry, doll face. You just watch my smoke. I'll be right back, pilot. I'll wait. Now's my chance. Ah, here we are. Skywriting smoke. <laughs> All right, pilot, start your engine. Smoke. Oh, I'm sorry about that skywriting mix-up, Betty, but don't worry. I bought you the biggest billboard in town. Hey, 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 hey! Look at me! I'm an artist! Oh, no! One of those Yancey Street characters is ruining my billboard! Relax, Betty. Two can play at this game. going to love my new tape. Students of Centerville High, this is Ronald Radford III speaking. Be sure to vote at the dance tonight for our next homecoming queen, Betty Harkness. Spike, will you listen to that? All I hear all over town is that fat lip Ronald and his silly sound truck saying, vote for Betty, vote for Betty. Whatever happened to vote for Sophie? Be cool, doll face. I already got it figured out. You better, big boy. Students of Centerville High, this is Ronald Radford III speaking. Be sure to vote at the dance tonight for our next homecoming queen, Betty Harkness. Okay, Stretch. Now's our chance. Go. I'm going. I just recorded a smashing new message for your campaign, Betty. That's wonderful. Can I hear it? Of course. Come, take a ride with me. When I do something, I do it right. This will win the election. This is Spike Hanrahan speaking. What? Remember, you should all vote for Sophie Hickenlooper. Hickenlooper? Is this your idea of a joke? B -b 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 Betty, I can't, I can't explain. I, you, no, I mean, I, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty neat, Spike. Betty looks terrific on that float, don't you think? Yeah, but all those flowers must have cost Ronald a lot of cabbage. Let those Yancey Street ruffians try to stop this, Betty. Here they come. Okay, Stretch, let it blast. how Mother Nature makes things grow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stretch. Did you, uh, hold them students like I asked you? I, I, I sure did, Spike. Well, well? Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Nine kids said they'd vote for Betty. Only nine, huh? How many for Sophie? Uh, uh, uh one? Only one? <laughs> yeah, that was me. Spike, you finagling four flusher. You promised I'd win. Take it easy, doll face. It's just a dumb survey. This potato head blew it, that's all. Now, how come you only asked ten kids? I ran out of fingers. Mm, what a brain. Uh, don't worry, doll face. You're still gonna win. Says who? Says me. Betty's got to be at the dance tonight to get elected. 
right? So? So I got a feeling she ain't gonna show up. <laughs> wow, Betty, you sure look like a queen. Well, Benji's right for once. You look fantastic. Yeah, it's amazing what tons of makeup and a whole family of slaves waiting on her hand and foot can do. Thanks, guys. Just ignore Kelly. I'd have left her at home, but we couldn't find a babysitter. <laughs> All right, hang on. We're on our way to the dance. These detour signs better work, Spike. Be cool, doll face. They're gonna lead that snooty booty Betty in the pal straight to nowhere. <laughs> Uh-oh, what's that sign? Detour, this way to the dance. Guess we'll have to go the long way around. If I see another detour sign, I'm going to scream. Better plug your ears, everybody. There's another one ahead. Parking for dance. Well, we finally made it. Where are all the other cars? Something fishy's going on here. Must be Spike and his gang. They did this. We'd better split up and look for a way out. Right. All clear, Benji. Ding ring. Do your thing. Stand aside, little lady. I'm gonna bulldoze us a tunnel right out of here. It's dirty weight, but I can dig it. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you, Spike. You sure took care of Betty. Yeah, and the voting comes right after this dance. It's lucky you found this tunnel, Benji. Yeah, I guess my luck is the real thing. <laughs> we, uh, now, all those voting for Sophie Hickenlooper. My goodness, it looks like Sophie's the only candidate. She can't lose. And so our crown goes to Miss Twilly. Miss Twilly, I'm here for the voting. <laughs> My goodness, our new queen is Betty Hartness. Sounds unanimous. Not exactly. Uh-oh, Spike. Here comes Sophie. Each sold separately. Superman, Batman, Incredible Hulk. You can make them do their thing. Even make Spider-Man slide down a string. Lots of action for one and all. Action figures over seven inches tall. These superhero action figures each sold separately. Batman, Superman, Incredible Hulk, and Spider-Man. Each sold separately by Mego. For the Air Force, Dick Williams. I know what it's like to manage a championship team. The excitement and satisfaction of seeing a team of superstars perform. It must be the same way for the people who manage the Air Force. Pilots, navigators, mechanics, technicians, all working together on a team with a common goal. You can be part of that team. The Air Force will train you in one of over 100 skills. Training that can count towards college credit. In skills that will be useful to you in or out of the service. Whether you're a man or a woman, whether you qualify to be an officer or an airman, the Air Force probably has a super job for you. What's eating you, Superman? Well, they won't let me play with them. Why not? You see, I'm too good. I know how you feel. Why don't you try the Air Force? Will they let me play the outfield? Well, ask your nearest Air Force recruiter. I will. I'll do it. How about you coming along? You could use a job, too. For the location of your nearest Air Force recruiter, call toll-free 800-447-4700.
It's the coach. Hurry, Athos. It is done, D'Artagnan. One tug of the string, and the pistol will explode the flask filled with powder. And voila! No more bridge. Good. To your posts. Now, Athos. Keep your place, coachman, and you will retain your health. The door is locked from within. I have a simple solution. A foolish attempt, messenger. Now I will relieve you of the letter you carry. You will regret this, musketeer. We shall see, monsieur. You have done well, my musketeers. This letter from the Duke Laval carries a plan of treachery against the king. Then you will surely expose him for his evil plot, your highness. As soon as the king returns from the north, Constance. Until then, your majesty, we will guard you and the letter with our lives. I must have that letter back at all costs. But how, sire? You know the Queen's handmaiden, the one called Constance? Yes, sire. Listen closely. This time it will be your heads if you fail. The Duke's men have taken the Queen's handmaiden prisoner. D'Artagnan, look, a note. The Duke demands the letter in exchange for Constance's safe return. Then I leave for the Duke's fortress to rescue her. Without us? Oh, no, you don't. Fortress is heavily guarded, D'Artagnan. That is why we approach from the sea. Are you ready, D'Artagnan? Ready. Oh. A bit clumsy, but well done. Evening, monsieur. A king's musketeer, and he is mine. Would you care for four? <laughs> there are four musketeers, and we will take them. <laughs> they are mine. On guard. <laughs> this may lead us to the dungeon. Follow me. 
Constance. D'Artagnan. You will be free in a moment. Behind you. The Duke Laval. Yes, musketeers. And now you are all doomed. Guards, take them. Porthos. One moment, D'Artagnan. moment. Have you seen this one? Behold, my friend. A cork. And what is a cork without a jug? Touché! Bring the girl. I have her, sire. Aha, they are finished. <laughs> Not yet, musketeers. Out. We will leave them to fight the sea. D'Artagnan, the Duke is flooding the dungeon. Not even the great strength of Porthos can free us. I wouldn't be too sure, D'Artagnan. Here, brace this beam against the bars. Ended, but we're free. Quickly, take Constance to safety. I'm going after the Duke. What keeps D'Artagnan? Perhaps we should go back. No, look on the tower. You shall never leave here alive, D'Artagnan. We shall see, monsieur. <laughs> this is your finish, D'Artagnan. Duke survived, D'Artagnan? Men of evil always seem to survive, Constance. But wherever there is treachery, the musketeers will be there to oppose it. All for one, and one for all! Dad, how would you like me to make you something? I love to play at cooking with my play and make. Play and make. Cooking so real looking with my play and make. Play and make. Toaster popping up and down, the blender turning round and round. Plus you get some Kool-Aid to make a homemade drink. That's great! I just love to play at cooking with my Play and Make. Play and Make Kitchen Center comes with Kool-Aid brand soft drink mix. Go from Hasbro. I love you alphabet. Wherever I go, your ABC delicious. Oh, I love you so. Hey, yes, sir! Yeah, kid. You get a combination lock free in alphabet. Put it together. Only you can open it. Combination lock free in post alphabet. <laughs> I love you alphabet. Wherever I go, your ABC delicious. Oh, I love you so. Oh. 
Cosby coming at you with music and fun, and if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. So let's get ready, okay? Hey, hey, hey! doing knitting a sock. Well, it's my thing, and I enjoy it. The only part that's really wrong with it is I don't know how to finish this thing. <laughs> and the main thing is, whatever you like to do, you should do it. If you dig it, do it. It's not a sissy for a man to knit or cook. It's not wrong for a girl to like tough sports like baseball or even football. So why is everybody getting so uptight? Because Fat Albert loves to cook. Hey, 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 what a bookie bouquet. smuggler. Who? Me? Yes, you. You're the one who's been bringing Miss Bifogo all them goodies. What you got for teacher this time, man? Lady fingers? Hee 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 you be trying to build a job yourself up with Miss Big Bifogo. No, no. I don't know what you dudes talking about. That much. I suppose you bought that fancy bouncy for us cats. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's it? For you. I made this fudge for you guys. Hey, 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 have some. You hear that? He made us some fudge with his own itty bitty fingers. Hey, this is great. Mmm, mmm. Out of the way, squirt. Hey, B. Save me some before me, maybe, maybe. Hey, don't hog at all. Hey, this is gonna let me get your hands off my boy. Hey, you too long, boy. Boys, stop that at once. Hey, be cool now. Boys, do you hear me? I've got nine brothers, Miss Bifogel. Just leave it to me. Where do you want this? Hey, hey, hey. Who's the chick with the muscles? Now, class, I'd like you to meet Penny. She's just joining us today. Well, Penny, how did you enjoy your first day in school? Oh, it was just... Hey, you dudes. Let's make it to the football field, man. Oh, football. <laughs> hey, wait up, Fat Albert. Hey, hold up now, Fat Albert. Come on, tight. Hey, wait a minute, come on. man. Come on, come now. On, Right hey, well. hey, wait, wait, Albert, wait. We got a nice surprise for you, man. <laughs> hey, what's this empty box for? It's for you to take home and fill up your ever so delicious, delightful, homemade fudge. <laughs> <laughs> We 
we mean it. Man, you make some heavy fudge. Hey, 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 I'll make up a batch right away. Nah, not now. After football. Okay, ready for the kickoff? <laughs> Hold it. Whose side am I on? Mmm, big penny. Girls don't play no football. Oh, no? If a great big boy can make fudge, then a teeny little girl ought to be able to play football. Oh, get lost. <laughs> then at least let me kick off. OK, everybody in close. <laughs> You've heard the expression, a penny for your thoughts. Well, if I were Penny, I'd keep the money. <laughs> because what Fat Albert and the gang are thinking of her is better left unsaid. Hey, hey, hey. Junk car five, look alive. Whip it in there, boy. Right here. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, right. Yeah, come on. 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 Yeah, For the team this year, Bill. Well, Albert, we've got a lot of good-looking prospects, and along with the steady performances of our proven veterans, we got a team here that just might take it all. Hey, hey, hey! Fans, you heard it. Superstar Kyrie says the team is going all the way. Hey, hey, hey! No question about it, Albert. There ain't nobody going to derail this victory express. Can I play? Can I? Hmm, can I? Uh, uh, well, you know, um, well... You be, can't be playing in Dobel's treatment shoes. You gonna scrub up our carpet. How you gonna scrub up dirt? Oh, shut up, dictionary. Why you call me dictionary? Cause words can't describe you. <laughs> See, we got a rule. No girls on the basketball court. You don't want her to play because she'll show you guys up. Hey, hey, hey. Don't make us laugh. Oh, no? How about the way she kicked the football out of sight? That was just an accident. Besides, she had the wind behind her and everything, you know? Well, she got the wind right next to her now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Let me take a shot. OK, here. If I looked that bad, I'd close my eyes, too. <laughs> but you can't do that again in 2,000 million years. Oh, you mean like this? Somebody was guarding you. Did you hurt yourself? Nah. I always wear a breakaway basketball uniform. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Now I'm going to show you some real He Man stuff. Oh. You're going to lift that great big heavy weight? Clean over my head. Stand back. Give me room. I'm just getting warmed up. Yeah. He's just getting warmed up. Here, let me help you. Did you hurt yourself? No. I always wear a breakaway weightlifter uniform. <laughs> Ain't no girl boy can pull up at me. You tell her, Donald. I, I could go that far twice that high, but I, I don't want to make you feel bad. <laughs> Put the bar back up. I'll 
I'll show you how to jump it. <laughs> well... That jump didn't count. You disqualified. Disqualified? Why? No pole. <laughs> Come, Come on, Fat Albert. Come on, yes. Show oh, yeah. me. I know Come it. On. Yeah, man. Look at him. Come on. Come on. The place yeah. is about to set it. Oh, you might. You set. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Well, have I made my point? You sure have. You're the best man. Right, man. Man? You seen Fat Albert and the gang, Violet? I don't think they want to see you. Huh? You've been coming on pretty strong with the athletics, and boys don't dig it when girls play ball better than they do. Well, girls shouldn't pretend to be dumb at sports just to make boys feel good. You might know a lot about sports, but you don't know nothing about being a girl. What are you talking about? There's other things besides sports you should be good at. Such as? such as sewing, dancing, even baking. This is what I mean. You ought to enter this baking contest. Oh, I get it. You mean I should show the boys that I can do something else besides beat them at sports. Right on. <laughs> Girl, make me laugh. Oh? Yours truly is gonna win that baking contest. A boy in a baking contest? Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> well, you did it again, junk dealer. Junk dealer? Why do you call me junk dealer? Because you're always picking scraps. <laughs> Attention, contestants. Welcome to the second annual Uptown Ladies Downtown Chapter of the Uplifters and Down with Anti-Benevolence Association Bake Off. When I give the signal, you may begin. Ladies and gentle, man, start your ovens. Another extra egg in the hall. Uh-oh, Fat Albert's in trouble, man. Hey, give me some eggs fast, man. Fast, fast, fast. What kind of eggs you want? Any kind. White, brown, I just need some eggs fast. Hey, 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 love to bake. That'll be 69 cents. Well, we haven't got quite that much, man. How much you got? Roughly, ooh. A dime. The only eggs you'll get for a dime are those candy eggs. <laughs> candy eggs? Candy eggs? <laughs> yeah, candy eggs. I told him to get me candy eggs because I'm going to make my special chocolate marshmallow candy egg cake. Bake, bake, bake. No, you never told us to get no candy. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Special chocolate marshmallow candy egg cake. Hmm. I can just taste it now. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? Do I know what I'm doing? Ha, ha, ha. Mmm, delicious. I've never tasted anything like it in my life. Mmm. It's delicious. First prize goes to Fat Albert's, um, uh, whatever you call it, cake. Hey, hey, hey. I'm a gourmet. 
uh, gourmet. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Told you she ain't had none. All right. That's Albert, all right. Yeah, man. Huh. That's the most unfair thing I've ever seen. You boys get all the breaks. But the judge is a woman. Oh, I like to throw this cake at someone. Too bad it's too heavy to lift. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. No play. Hmm. Any style of LGL turned out to be NG, no good. In fact, Albert won that round, but the conflict, it's not over. Nice try, Albert. Beautiful. <laughs> you all right? Hey, 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 I'm okay, but my tennis ain't. Don't say that. You're getting better all the time. A couple more lessons and you'll be great. Why are you going all this trouble teaching me anyway? Because you're a natural. Only one thing you really got to work on. What's that? Jumping over the net. <laughs> 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 it looks like things are going to even out eventually because each side is picking up on the other one's scene. Fat Albert and the Junkyard Band, they've cooked up a good old musical dish that tells it pretty well. <laughs> In baseball, she can really hit when she's pitching. Well, that's it. In football, she runs like the wind, and I tell you, it's embarrassing how she learned to do that. She's a girl. R2-D2. Chewbacca, Luke, and Princess Leia. They're the Star Wars early bird set of figures. These action figures are not yet available, but this Star Wars early bird certificate package is in stores. With this colorful Star Wars picture display stand and certificate, just send in to get a set of figures by mail. 
They'll be sent to you at home between February 1st and June 1st. The Star Wars Early Bird Certificate Package, new from Kenner. Stomper fun by fours with raw power to tackle just about anything you throw their way. And come four-wheel driving back for more. And more. Battery not included. Change tires and tackle the tough outdoors. Headlights blazing the way. Wheels turning and churning. Pulling you up to the action. Stomper! Stomper fun by fours. First in four-wheel fun. Each sold separately from Shopper. Earth. The 23rd century, a time of robots and aliens, and of destruction and terror. Can the Galactic Patrol, defender of the United Planets, stop the evil computer, Umbra? You bet they can. Meet Rob Simmons, the secret inventor of Feisty Ono, Mighty Tor, Versatile Bort, Elusive Boo, Bold, the master of the elements, and Crunch, the metal muncher. Super robots forging together at Rob's command to form Mighty Orbots, champion of the universe. Our galaxy, the Milky Way. It is the 23rd century, and mankind has reached the stars. Earth has become the headquarters of the Galactic Patrol, the police force of the United Planets. And life is anything but dull. Within the concealed headquarters of the Galactic Patrol, Rondu, the patrol commander, sees the situation and realizes that this is a job for mighty Orbots. Rob, come in. Urgent. A starship is caught in the meteor swarm. We need mighty Orbots. Roger, Rondu. Oh, no. Get the beam car and meet me at Rendezvous 7. Rob Simmons, inventor of Mighty Ormonds, calls his team to action. Hurry! Orbots, activate! Responding to Rob's call, the five robots burst from their underground recharge chambers. First comes the Mighty Tor. Next, the shape-changing Bort. Bo, with her power over the elements, follows. And then comes Boo, mistress of illusion. And finally, the all-purpose disposal unit, Crunch. That little cutie Ono, watchful mother hen of the Orbots. Rob activates his Omni suit and is transformed into the Orbot's commander. Orbots, unite!
Okay, Ono, ignition. Okay, guys, let's go. That ship's in bad shape. Too many of them, Rob. We can't be everywhere at once. Oh, yes, we can, Tor. Orbots, separate! Separation complete. Okay, gang, use the old Meteor Madness play. Meteor Madness. Uh, let's see, which one is that? Don't strain your circuit, sport. Here's a hint. It starts like this. With a little of this. It builds up to this. Oh. oh, oh, right. And then I do this. Okay, Rob. The asteroids are almost cleared. Oh, look. This is Dragos and Drax ship. It is? Wow! They're the biggest rock group in the galaxy. Mighty Orbots to Starship. You're out of the meteoroid swarm now. Do you need any help with repairs? Negative, Mighty Orbots. But as a token of our gratitude... We hope you'll accept free tickets to our concert tonight. Wow! We'll be there. Thanks. They'll be in for quite a show if they do. Yeah, like their last show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Looks like Mighty Orbot saved that starship. A pity Rob isn't here to see it. You know how those robotics engineers are, Father? He's probably analyzing some complicated formula. Something's missing. Some vital ingredient. I know. Mustard. Oh, no. What's that? Lunch. Oh, no. You already had today's lunch. I know. This is tomorrow's lunch. Oh, no. All you ever say is, oh, no. Oh, no, it's not my fault. You built me. Right, to help me, not to nag me. Oh, no, you programmed me. I sure did. And now I'm going to reprogram you into saying, oh, yes. Oh, no! <laughs> Works every time. Rock and Rule is my favorite. I hope they do it at the concert tonight. Just noise, if you ask me. Gee, I wonder who would like to go to the concert with me. Yeah. Go with me. 
Not a chance, guys. They've only got video receptors for those rock star creeps. If I ever met Dracos and Drax, I can't think of what I'd say. I can. Don't worry, guys. They've just got a harmless crush on Dracos and Drax. Listen, 20 weight. Just because Rob built you first doesn't mean you can boss me around. I am not moving till I say it's time to go. Time to go. These guys are so hip. They're triple jointed. Think I'll do an extra hour's recharge. I may need it tonight. I think it's harmless. How, how about you? Yeah. Sure. Harmless. Unfortunately for our heroes, it seems that Dracos and Drax are not at all harmless. The Shadow Star, a hollow planet so huge, it has its own inner sun to warm it. This is the headquarters of Shadow, the most evil organization in the universe. Here in the massive Shadow Fortress, Umbra, the ruler of shadow, is spinning yet another in a long series of webs for mighty Orbots. <sighs> Umbra to Dracos and Drax. Report the progress of your operation. All is in readiness, Lord Umbra. At your command, we will test the magnetic monster and destroy one of Earth's cities. The command is given. Proceed. Our music will create the greatest menace their world has ever seen. Dragos and Drax alien music has created a monster. Test is successful, Lord Umbra. Excellent. You two have played your parts well. The galaxy believes you are music superstars. No one suspects you are agents of Shadow. It is the perfect disguise. Then we can proceed with step two? Yes. And after the Dragos and Drax concert, Earth defenses will be destroyed, along with mighty Orbots. On the moon, the eager fans pour into Lunar Hall to see the Dragos and Drax concert. I can't wait to see Dragos and Drax. I wish we could meet them face to face. I've got an idea. Use your invisibility power to make us scarce. Now, come on. Oh, I don't think we should. Hi, guys. Where'd you two come from? That doesn't matter. The big question is, where we're going after the show. Oh! Amscray, ladies. Call your jets, brother. These two are members of the Galactic Patrol. I know I don't want trouble. But we do want mighty Orbots. And maybe they know something about the big guy. Uh, tell you what, girls. We'll do a number right now, just for you. All right! Oh, what's happening? I, I don't know. Dragos and Drax's hypnotic music has put Bo and Boo into a trance. Now, you two wait right there like 
good little robots. And when we finished our gig out there, you'll tell us whatever you know about mighty Orbots. And now, the hottest thing in the galaxy since the last supernova... <laughs> Dracos and Drax music once again begins to form the magnetic monster. I don't know if the girls will want us to join them, Tor. So what? We don't take no for an answer. What are you, anyway? A robot or a mouse? A robot. Robot. So am I. I think. Never mind what I am. What's that? I don't know. But it looks even meaner than me. It's magnetic. And we're metal. And that's a bad combination. Yeah, bad. Real bad. Made of magnetic waves, the monster feeds on metal, growing larger and larger. Soon it will be big enough to attract all the metal on Earth, leaving the planet defenseless. Long suckers, this has been a shadow production. Wow, what a finish! The whole stage is blasting off! Shadows using rock and roll is nothing sacred. Dracos and Drax are getting away, but not if Dia can help it. Meanwhile, Bo and Boo have been taken aboard Draco's and Drax's ship. Wow, it must have been some night. I don't remember a thing. Okay, ladies, tell us where we can find Mighty Orbots. Mighty Orbots? Never heard of him. Come on, fellows. Lighten up. Here, I'll help by turning off the gravity. Hey! Cut it off! Look out! What's happening? <laughs> Are you two robots all right? Yeah! Uh, we gotta run. We got some, um, uh, uh, paperwork to do. Fine. I'll turn these shadow agents over to headquarters. Come on! Take your best shot! Hey! No fair! Tar! Buddy! Don't get me mad, pal. I'm warning you. Oh. Tore to Rob. We've got company with a magnetic personality. We're on our way. I wonder where the guys are. What in the galaxy is that thing? Whoa! Welcome to the party. Stick around. That monster's made out of magnetic waves. There's nothing we can do. We're metallic. It's got us cold. Cold? That's it. Sub-zero cold weakens electromagnetism. We need at least 500 degrees below zero. Where are we gonna find any place that cold? Leave it to me. Oh. 
Okay, gang, we've only got one shot. It'll take everything we've got. Let's give this thing the old heave-ho! Keep going, guys. Going where? To the rings of Saturn. They're cold enough to put this thing on ice. stunned it. Let's break free before it comes to. Orbots, unite! Sing the monster toss and go for the gold! Sensors tell me the magnetic monster is no more. This must be mighty Orbot's doing. Somehow, someday, they will pay for this. And while Umbra broods over his defeat, the Orbots relax after a job well done. Where are you gals off to now? To another concert, of course. Disaster areas playing on Mars. Yeah? Well, how'd you both like to be escorted by a real hero? Great! Come on, Tor! What'd I tell you guys? Style. That's the ticket. Introducing a bold new dining experience, Sizzler's new all-you-can-eat buffet court. Where do we start? Individual islands of specially prepared foods. Let's start at the salad bar. Which end? Pasta. Tostadas. Good, Good idea. idea. The appetizer bar? No, the dessert bar. How about soup? Sizzler's new all-you-can-eat buffet court. With so much more to choose from, it's hard to know where to start. We could go clockwise. Starting where? Sizzler, the buffet court and grill. Silver Hawks, partly metal, partly real, mighty warriors with the powers to protect space from all evil. Molecular Vulture of Trapped Bluegrass. Tally Hawk Attack Bird and figures with Weapon Bird sold separately. Sidemen Gate Quicksilver. Activate Power Wings. Tally Hawk, let's get her. Engage Scissor Wings. Fire. That 
shook his molecules. Yeah, one touch in your history. No chance. Tally Hawk Attack Bird and figures with weapon birds each sold separately. Silver Hawks, new from Kenner. It is the 31st century. Ulysses killed the giant Cyclops when he rescued the children and his son Telemachus. But the ancient gods of Olympus are angry and threaten a terrible revenge. Mortals, you defy the gods? I sentence you to travel among unknown stars. Until you find the kingdom of Hades, your bodies will stay as lifeless as stones. to play hide and seek when my obstacle detector's disconnected. Oh. 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 No, no, what is happening? Uh-oh, I hope he isn't going to bang his head again. Oh. 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 He's out of his mind. He's going to hurt himself. He has no idea what he's doing. Nono has become quite silly. Did you see that? <laughs> what is it, Yumi? What's the matter? I'm not sure. It's as if the white planet were coming towards us again. Zatra, your own white planet? Yumi, tell me! Ah, oh, she's gone. That's only because I'm starving. A nail or two and I'll be fine. <laughs> No, no, I haven't any time for this. Yumi says that Zatra's coming. Zatra? Isn't that where Yumi was born? Yes, let's go take a look. You never know. Hey, wait for me! Hey! Oh! This won't work. Telemachus, plug in my obstacle detector for me, will you? Oh, boy, when are you going to learn to manage on your own? Very funny. I'd like to see you do it. Meteoric object approaching the Odyssey. I am tracking its movements. Shirker, give me manual control. And put up visual display on the big screen with maximum definition of object for close analysis. Yes, Ulysses. just a huge meteor. Then the meteor came from Zatra. I can tell I'm sure of it. Please, can we follow it? I feel sure someone is sending me a message. Very well. Father, is it really from Zatra? I've decided to follow it, so we should know very soon. changed. 
What's going on? Shirka, give us a breakdown. Within influence of a planet, we are approaching an unnamed planet. The meteor has entered its field of gravity. Don't lose sight of it. Increase the speed. We have to catch it. Follow it. Shirka, give me maximum magnification. Displaying maximum magnification now. It seems as if the planet is just one massive swamp. <laughs> I don't think I care for that at all. <laughs> what is it, Yumi? Ulysses, please follow that meteor. It's a part of Sartre. It might help bring my brother back to life. Please help me try and save him. I understand, Yumi. It'll be dangerous, Yumi. We know nothing about the planet. But my poor brother, Ulysses, even if it's a slight chance, we must take it. Hmm. All right, we'll go. Oh, thank you, Ulysses. Thank you. I'll go with you. No, you stay here. Not again. Oh. We won't take any unnecessary risks. I don't like the looks of things. It's like a bad dream. Look. Let's put down over there. In this mud, our astro jeep would be useless. We'll have to walk. I can't say that I care for that much. Glad I stayed here. You have to understand, at a place like that, I might rust. And rusty nails taste awful. Not now, no, no. Hush, please, hush. The meteor's over there. I can feel it. <gasps> Father, is everything all right? Yes, Telemachus, don't worry. The picture is breaking up. It's over there. Father, can you hear me? Yes, but faintly. The transmitter's not working properly. No, that's not it. There's some static interference. Interference? Look at that mud, Ulysses. Great shimmering suns. What's happened? I've lost contact. There's no signal at all. Oh, by the great solar wind. Well, what's wrong, friend? Impossible to re-establish contact. Unexplained jamming, very high frequency. Careful, Yumi. Shurka, still no signal. Keep scanning. Because of intense jamming, impossible to detect any signal. What in the name of Jupiter can it all mean? Perhaps he can still hear me. Father, answer me. Come in, please. <laughs> well, my poor little friend, what can I do to help? <laughs> Telemachus, bleep trace of Ulysses' shuttlecraft approaching the Odyssey. What was that? 
confirmed, Shurka. Ulysses' shuttle is on its way back to the Odyssey. Data confirmed. because of all that interference. Quick, there's no time to lose. What? Where are we going? Go to the command bridge and take over the controls. Well, you be worse, Ulysses, so angry. He's not angry, he's taking command, that's all. Quickly, we've lost enough time, Telemachus. Take over main controls. Yes, sir, right away. Shurka, come on, we're on our way. Five seconds to departure, Telemachus. Count down, five. Four, three, two, one, ignition. All right now, maximum speed. But why, Father? Silence, I said maximum speed. That's an order. Shurka, increase to maximum speed. We've attained maximum speed. Splendid. Disconnect transmitter. Disconnect transmitter? Disconnected and no more arguments. Who else is there you want to call up on the radio, Telemachus? Yes, when I come to think of it, we are all here on the ship. Yes. Hi, friends of the Odyssey. Good afternoon. It's tea time. Your orders. Uh, for me, a kerosene cocktail with a twist of sandpaper. Uh, the usual. Fresh fruit juice for me. The same for you, Yumi. It's your favorite. I would like to have a moss and dragonfly cocktail, please. What? I've seen some crazy drinks in my time, but that one? Yumi and I will have the same. Thank you. The same thing, Father? Bring it to my cabin. The air is too dry here. There's something funny going on. Oh, my imagination. See you after tea time for some games. Look, they're coming back. Telemachus, Telemachus, can you hear me? The transmitter's gone dead. Look, the same thing's happening again. They're like automatic cameras, recording every detail about us. They seem able to take on any shape at all. It seems so, Yumi. It's very strange. <laughs> Excuse me, Father, but are you feeling all right? What? I don't know how to say this, but you seem so different. No, 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 I'm fine. Leave me alone. Hold on, 
you mean. We have to get away from them. That's what's been interfering with the radio. Uh, uh, do you think Telemachus is listening? Of course he is. He must be worried sick not having heard from us. Uh, uh. The curiouser and curiouser. Where have they all gone? No, 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 no. Telemachus. Shh. This way. the shield because it's transparent. It's as if Ulysses knew me weren't themselves. For a start, those way out cocktails, and they sure say funny things. All the same, he is my father, not a robot. Wait a minute, why did he make me cut the radio? Uh, perhaps there's something he doesn't want you to hear. Just supposing you're right, Nono. I can't stand not knowing. There's only one way to find out. Telemachus, this is Ulysses. I'm with Yumi and things are fine. Don't worry. Father, then the person on board ship isn't my father, but who is he? Watch out. Be careful. There's a... <laughs> Quickly, Telemachus. Send out a shuttlecraft. Right, a shuttlecraft. Right. Shirka, start immediate auto launch of shuttlecraft number four to pick up my father and Yumi. Quickly! Three seconds to launch shuttle number four. So, you found out who we really are. But it is too late. Before the shuttle can get there, Ulysses will be at the bottom of the swamp. You'll never get the better of my father. <laughs> but you don't know what other plans we have for you. <laughs> what are your other plans? When the real Ulysses returns, all his welcoming party will have become mere copies. <laughs> They're going to make us into copies. No, no, let's get away before they can do it. They're only copycats. We're saved.
they cling to us like glue. It is my turn now. I'm here. Sorry, my brother. The meteor from Zatra sank to the bottom of the swamp. You did everything you could, Yumi. Don't give up hope, my little Yumi. You will need patience. One day we will break the spell of the gods, and your brother will wake up. Hey, Telemachus! Oh, you want to play, do you? Is that it? Why don't we play cat and mouse? Say, that's a great game. And this time, you're the mouse. Oh, no. I've spent enough time being chased around today. It makes me hungry. and buds and things are here in a never-ending battle for domination where Trapasaurus fights off evil beetle while gravel guts and bloodstone confront the buzzing menace of wicked cricket. It's rocks versus bugs with mortals as a tasty prize. Where will the evil end? Can robots, soldiers, or heroes stop them? They're on the move and ready for action. Rocks and bugs and things from Ideal. Gee, Ronald, my new car turns into a robot. Great, let's see. Wow, Grimace, did you know I can turn into a McDonald's? Uh, let me see, let me see. Okay, I'm turning into a McDonald's. <laughs> me too, me too. <laughs> when you buy McDonald's Happy Meal, you can become the master changer, because you'll get a food toy that changes into an amazing robot. Eight different toys, two each week. You can collect and change all eight new food changeables at McDonald's. I don't like this! Whoa! What's happening? Whoa! Where are we? Look out! 
Fear not, ranger? Barbarian, magician, thief, cavalier, and acrobat. Avenger, the force of evil. I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. of the Swamp of Darkness. Well, I hope he breaks a gas mask. I haven't smoked anything this bad since Eric cooked breakfast. Bobby, look out! Your heart. Ah, Dungeon Master. I understand how you feel. You do? I mean, uh, how could you know what I feel? Because in some ways, she is like you. She is gifted with wondrous powers. Powers that will grow as she grows. Oh, who is she? I I've never met her before, but it feels like I've known her forever. You will understand in due time, but be warned. There is more than meets the eye in life and in love. Find her, and you may find the way home. Home? Dungeon Master, wait! What do I do? How do I find the Forbidden Tower? Follow your heart, young wizard. Follow your heart. Hank? Diana? Where are you guys? Bobby? Is that you? Yeah! What are you doing here? Who are you? His name is Presto, and I'd advise you to let him go. Boy, am I glad to see you guys. No one crosses this swamp and comes back, except for witches or wizards. Sheriff, please. They're children. You'll scare them. Who are you? I am Marinda, and this is my husband, Sheriff. We heard children's voices and thought perhaps that maybe I... Oh, but never mind that. You must be starving. Come. I will not have evil enter our house. Jeriff, they're only children. Come. This way. Boy, where'd he take cheerful lessons? No place. It's delicious. What is it? 
swamp lizard stew. Eric, don't be rude. Hey, don't get me wrong. This is great lizard. Yes, sir. Nothing makes a man's mouth water like a nice steaming bowl of... It's all we have. Nobody's forcing you to sit at this table. Get out. Get out. Hey, look, I'm, I'm sorry. It, it was just a joke, okay? It's all we have to eat. Don't you understand? It's all we have. Please forgive Jareth. He hasn't been the same since our daughter disappeared in the swamp a year ago. Daughter, hey, I... Shh. Ever since then, terrible luck has befallen our village. Our crops were destroyed by evil winds. Listen, I... Our livestock ran off, leaving us to go hungry. I've searched that swamp every day. There's no sign of Arla. Nothing can survive that infernal swamp. Nothing. But I saw a girl in the swamp. She saved my life. Then it was Varla I heard. She is alive. You saw her where? Tell me where. Right back there, in the... Ah! Presto, are you all right? What's the matter? It's starting again. What's starting again? The evil. Make me do any more. I'm so weak. Save your strength. You will need it for your next illusion. And if I catch you trying to call for help again, your parents will suffer greatly. No! Don't hurt them. I'll do what you ask. Good. Very soon, those accursed pupils of Dungeon Master will be right where I want them. Concentrate your thoughts on the village. And do exactly as I say. Boy, you guys are sure were rewards. A little wind, and you'd think the, the world was gonna end. Ah! Did you see? That one in wizard's robes caused the lightning. No, no, it wasn't me. No. Not evil. I can prove it. Bring a spell to quench the fire and prove to these folks that I'm no liar. No. Ah! Ah! The wizard! He brings fire! Uh, Hank, what's happening? Somebody help me! The time has come at last. You have brought this evil upon us! Stay back! Look! Who's that guy? I don't know. Maybe someone who can help us. Saved our village. We owe you our lives and our thanks. You owe me nothing, but you owe him no mercy. He is the one who brought this destruction upon your good village. He and his evil accomplices. What? That's a lie. Judge them by their actions, not their words. They're wizards and witches, and they will destroy you if you don't destroy them first. He's right. They are the ones who did this! Get them! Stop! They are only children! They meant no harm! Out of our way! Unless you want to meet the same fate! <laughs> Let us go! We're innocent! Quiet! Take them away! <sighs> what are you gonna do with us? At dawn, you shall suffer the fate of all wizards and witches! You had to ask! I shall see that their evil weapons harm no one again. You have done well, Vara. 
your illusions could fool even me. Feeling better, old buddy? Ah! I I'm okay, I guess. Hank, I, I can feel it when she hurts. Who? Farla. But her father said she was... No, she's alive. I know it. I saw her. Easy, presto. Easy. You really care about her, don't you? So, who's for busting out of here? Forget it. We already tried. Without our weapons, we're just regular. Regular? We're giant size. Come on. What's the matter with you guys? So we don't have our weapons. We've still got our voices. Huh? I want to see my lawyer. There's no TV in my cell. But what about my phone call? I demand my rights. Now that I possess the weapons of power, the only thing that stands in the way of total conquest is Dungeon Master himself. I have done what you asked, Venger. You promised to let me go. Now! Only a fool would let go of something as valuable as you. But I'm too weak to do any more. Now, perhaps. But your strength will return. And as you grow, your power will grow in ways you cannot yet dream. When the time has come, Dungeon Master will be your next victim. They're all my illusions. He made me do it. He said he would hurt my parents. Who? The brave warrior on the white horse, Venger. That good guy was Venger? Uni was right. Yeah. Then Venger's got our weapons? Oh, brother. We'll save you. Tell me how to find you. Above the valley, on a high mountain, in the Forbidden Tower. <laughs> They're coming! Get ready! Mother! Father! Marla! You're alive! Venture, please don't! Marla! Father! No! What's going on in there? I can never repay you. She's alive! Alive! <laughs> For them. Go! Save my daughter! Come on! We've got no choice! those two ugly orcs. I hear unicorns make great decoys. Huh? Forget it! Yeah, just forget it. It's no use. Giving up before you even try? Dungeon Master, I'll never be able to get Barlow away from Venger. Ah, oh, you are far stronger than you imagine. Remember, when things look their worst, things will be their best. Oh, worst equals best, does it? Try telling that to my old algebra teacher. Hey, he's gone! What'll we do? I've got an idea. Come out or we come in.
Ugh, a cold floor. Just what I needed. Now that we're in, how do we find Varla? That way. You better be sure about this. She's that way. I can feel it. Hm. It's probably just indigestion. Presto, you did it! Varla! You're here. I knew you would come. I knew it. Ah! It's no use. Only Venger can release me. We've got to find our weapons and get her out of here. Don't look now, but there's 2,000 pounds of angry pork headed this way. There's no way out. We're trapped. Wait. I may be able to disguise you with an illusion. You're too weak. Don't try it. They'll be here any second. You there. Have you seen humans? Huh? Quiet, Uni. We haven't seen a thing. Oh, I, I, I mean, we don't see them. What is going on here? Oh, we're just having a little orc to orc talk. Right, Porky? <laughs> As I thought. Scatter! Leave them. I want the pleasure of dealing with Dungeon Master's star pupils myself. Get down! None of you will leave this room ever. will not save you. One order of magic weapons coming up! Huh? Okay, let them have it! Are you okay? I think so. All we can do is hold him off! We can't stop him! Is there anything that can? No, nothing besides Tiamat. She's a three-headed dragon with wings. No, five heads. And as big as a barn. What are you doing? Trying to make one last illusion. Stop! You're not strong enough. It's too dangerous. I must, if it will help you. No, Varla, no! Why did she do it? She did it for us, Presto. I wonder if we would have been brave enough to do the same. The evil ones! Get them! No, wait! You don't understand! Varla? Our daughter, is she? <laughs> no! No! First our village, now Varla! Make them pay! Wait a minute. The village. Look at that. I don't get it. Is that good news? Don't you see? It was Varla's illusion. The illusion's still here, so Varla's still here. Someplace. That's what Dungeon Master meant by when things look their worst, things will be their best. But where is she? How am I going to find her? With your heart. Your heart, as you have always done. <gasps> look! The Dungeon Master. It is the Dungeon Master!
Tharla? Tharla! You could win Titanus, the motorized carrier Zord, part of the ultimate Power Ranger battle machine. Just watch Q13 weekdays between 3 and 5 p.m. When we get a word, call in and win. The 13th member who calls wins a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers action figure and a Power Rangers handheld game. Daily winners qualify for the grand prize drawing for Titanus on Friday. And be sure to watch the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers weekday afternoons at 4.30. From U.S. Bank, the Tacoma Mall, and the Q13 Kids Club. Previously on Conan the Adventurer, Conan's parents were transformed by the cruel wizard Rathamon. I will never rest until I've restored you to flesh and blood. Conan is aided in his quest by Needle, a magical baby phoenix. Ah, Needle not want to go with big dumb barbarian. <laughs> Zula, who has the power to communicate with animals, and Jesmond, a circus acrobat. Together they fight the evil of Rathamon. Quest to undo the spell of living stone cast upon his family by driving the evil serpent men back into another dimension and vanquishing their leader, the cruel wizard Rathamon. We'll never find the City of Wizards.
strangers are not welcome here. I am Conan of Samaria. I seek Xanthus, the city of wizards. I need help for my- Xanthus, you must first be found worthy of that honor. Nulo modo, no lay and try. Tricks, wizard. Uh, so, now you are without your magic staff. <sighs> strike swiftly. Don't make me suffer. I won't strike an unarmed man. <clears throat> mm, then you have passed the three tests. Perception, determination, and mercy. I am Greywolf, your guide to Xanthus. Tests? How dare you test me when my friends need help? Help? What happened? A landslide. I see. Venite! If you will trust me, we can save your friends. Mutorum Savanti! Come, my cloak will take us to them. Very well. But if this is another one of your tests, wizard, you'll pay the price. Savanti Oris to Santis! Ah. Ooh, needle sense good magic. And pomegranates. You have a baby phoenix? You are quite a surprise, warrior. For me? <laughs> Need a light gray wizard. This stonework looks like it was built with magic. Conan, I'll bet the wizards of Xanthus can help your family. Your family? Rathamon turned my parents and grandfather to stone when they refused to help him. Rathamon, he's our worst enemy. We only use our magic for good. Then you will help me? <sighs> we no longer have a full council of wizards, but my older sister and brother are very wise, as is the visiting sorceress, Mesmira. I'm sure they can help. Come. I truly wish we could help you, but our earth magic can only change the shape of stone, not transform it to flesh. Ms. Mira, perhaps you know of something? I know of no cure for such a spell, Conan. For your sake, I sincerely wish I did. Conan, there's a serpent man here. The star metal of my sword also detects an evil presence. One of you serves Rathamon. Stand forth, Serpent Man! Put your sword away. We are people of peace. Well, there's a snake in your garden, and I'll show him to you. There! Shut Man sends his greetings! Give your master my greetings in the abyss! Wings 
scorpions! Get back! Watch out! They're deadly! They go up! Good work, little brother! Eddie Misha. Now! Ali Kid Arden! Districts! Prejudice! I can't believe it. A serpent man here in our midst. Perhaps he's behind the mysterious disappearance of four of our most powerful Earth wizards. We should examine Kidem's house. We'll go with you. Our star metal weapons will warn us at once if there are any more of these snake faces around. Not a sign of the missing wizards, nor any clue to Rathamon's plans. Mm, there's something odd here. A, a cold wind. I perceive an illusion spell upon this wall. Hidden stairs! Thank you, Miss Mira. Your magic is indeed strong. Two more tunnels? And we need to search both of them. We'll split up. Looks like we've found the Serpent Man's lair. Watch out for these plants. They bite. A well-equipped sorcery lab. What's this? Don't touch it! It's highly explosive. How do you know? I know lots of things. Zula, Grey Wolf, come look at this. Ah, need a one to see too. What could it be? Ah! Needle, be careful. Come back here. Ah, needle, no light. Mm, needle, not feel so good. Mm -hmm. Still alive. The gas is sleeping gas. What if I... There. That'll keep him out of trouble for a while. Now, what do we do about the gas? Let me deal with it. Stand back. Regu Autumn Shakari Oris! Missing Earth Wizards! I'll give them a hand! Thank you. I can handle it from here. Farago Thuni! Why were you taken prisoner, Chado? Rathamon wished to use our Earth magic to help build his temples. How many serpent men are involved in this? We found one, but there must be more. Rathamon only sent one serpent man to serve the true creator of this plot, Mesmira. Mesmira? Come on! Hurry! I'm beginning to think you know too much about this laboratory. <laughs> It no longer matters what you think. Sasha, be shot! This is a trap! <laughs> Too late! <laughs> and look at your wizards now! What have you done to them? And they've been hit with fire! Thorns! Thorns from the Lycanthrus plant, which appears but once a decade. When the transformation is complete, they will be my mindless slaves. No! Get her, my children! Stand back, whatever 
matter of beast approaches, I'll... Jasmine! They're chasing me! You've got to get out of here! Those meddlers freed the wizards! I'll make them pay! Only they're right behind us! That, they'll feel my blade. Don't harm them! That's Sasha and Misha! Mesmira's transformed them! My brother and sister! Chado, quickly! We need something to trap them! Yes, perhaps a cage spell will do! Lulu Metro Composite Invest! Zula! You and Jasmine protect the wizards. We'll try to lure the werewolves into the cage. Sasha, Misha, stop! This is not in your true nature! Prepare to finish the spell! Hello, Metro Compositive Sister, Ms. Mira will pay for what she's done to you. Drink deeply of my magic, O oh seed of evil, and grow, grow. Yes, my darling, grow. You will live, and Santhus will perish. Grow, my pretty, grow. Time to feed my pet. Gorge yourself upon the magic of Sanders! Miss Mira's plant is draining all the magic from Sanders. We've got to stop it. Grey Wolf, what's wrong? My cape! I can't keep it alive! Savanti! Paris! Paris! Quickly! Jump! Oh! Oh! I, I've got you! Surrender, you vile witch or Surrender? When the end of Xanthus is near? Ha! Never! It's you that shall be vanquished! Behold! Conan is stealing all my magic. Cut blossoms, break the pots. You must. Oh. I will not fail you. Not I. It's not working. Our weapons can't penetrate the pods from here. Then we'll get closer.
I strike the final blow. Where's Miss Mira? Maybe we were lucky. Maybe she was destroyed along with her evil plant. Ah, Miss Mira's magic, now yours, what? Yes, and it is still filled with powerful Stygian magic. Conan, you saved Xanthus. This, by right, is yours. It might break Rathamon's spell over your family. Could it also break Mesmira's spell on your sister and brother? I don't know, but I can only try to use it once. Then use it. Pus est humanus. them human, but I think the werewolf madness has left them. Mm, yes, madness all gone. Open cage, open cage! Est compositum metro nulo! I promise, no matter what it takes, I'll find a way to make you human again. You seem weary, Grandmother. May we offer you a ride? Oh, a sweet and generous offer, child. But I haven't far to go. Well, then have a safe journey. Well, where do we go next? I promised the circus I'd return for the Spring Festival performances. I must return to Kush for a time. I still have many duties to perform as prince of my tribe. Let us head east. There are legends of powerful magic there. Then east it is. Farewell, Zula. Ride safely, Jesmin. We will all meet again soon. Yes, my dear Conan. We will meet again soon. Conan, the adventurer. Conan, warrior without fear. His quest to undo the spell of living stone cast upon his family by driving the evil serpent men back into another dimension and vanquishing their leader, the cruel wizard Rathamon. Conan, the adventurer. Crime Squad. Batman and Robin with rapid deploy techno capes. Plan Strike Batman puts the hook on the evil Bane, but Bane is strong as steel. Racing in comes Ski Blast Robin to stagger the beast. Now the squad takes to the air in the triple attack jet. Robin launches the attack drone, revealing air assault Batman, who causes Bane serious pain. When crime gets this big, you need the squad. The Batman Crime Squad with rapid deploy techno capes. Figures in triple attack jet each sold separately. These and other incredible Batman toys are available at a store near you. It's Batman at his best, supercharged with power. The turbo bat plane soars at breakneck speed. It's Catwoman. Fearing the killer claw, she leaps to safety. Look out! This feline's got her own set of claws. But Mechwing Batman can rise above this cat fight. He fires. The Eaglin figures sold separately. Batman. The best just got better. Look for America's favorite hero this Christmas in the animated movie, Batman, Mask of the Phantasm. The future. Mr. Moloch created me, an artificial human codenamed Project GKR. I am known as Geeker, and my synthetic body has almost unlimited power. Moloch plans to use me to conquer the world. 
But Lady Macbeth, a streetwise thief, stole me before I could receive the programming which would force me to be Moloch's fighting machine. Lady Macbeth was helped by a super intelligent dinosaur, Noah. That's me, Geeker. And that's me. <laughs> control my powers better, because Mr. Moloch wants me back really bad. And without Lady Macbeth and Noah, I'd be a bucket of extra crispy. Are you sure you bought the... You know what? Sorry, Geeker. They were all out of chocolate monkeys. Bummer, bummer. Becky, look! I'm on TV! What? This was the scene last night as Neil Donaire was terrorized by an enormous shape-changing monster. I don't get it. You're not a monster. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Moloch Industries promises to take a leading role in ridding the city of this terrible creature. If you see anyone resembling this monster, contact the Pinkers at once. A sizable reward will be paid. Look, it's him. Hmm. Uh-oh, Geeker. You've been made. Yes, using the finest ingredients. I mean, you've been identified. Come on! This monster may be disguised as a normal human being, but he can be identified by his four-fingered hand. When, oh, when will they let me forget my tragic deformity? I said, come on! That's him, all right. Get him before he turns into a monster. A monster? He looked taller on the telly. You're evil and nasty. Oh! There they are! Back off! Uh-huh. 
Well, whatever you say, sister. Oh, I can't hurt innocent people. Oh, no, it's tempting. Any ideas, Geeker? Yeah, bell-bottom shorts, fashionable and breezy. Lower your weapon and surrender. Get us out of here, Geeker! I am so on top of that. Follow me. Well, why not? Golly, you landed a lot softer than I did. I hate you. Do 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 do. Obviously, Doctor Maston has succeeded in creating another Geeker. He's using the imposter to turn the city against the real Geeker. Hmm, makes sense. That will leave Geeker with nowhere to hide. Moloch is waging a war of nerves. And speaking of nerves, I've got only one left, and you're right on it, Geeker. Do chickens burp? Geeker, do you understand what Moloch is doing? As long as this monster is running loose, people will never accept you. They won't. That's mean. There's only one thing we can do about it. Right. Call Moloch's mother. She'll make him stop. No, Geeker. We have to catch this evil Geeker ourselves. And that's how they became the Grady Group. Ta-da! Well, that's all the TV theme songs I know. Yeah. Sleepy now. So get some sleep. We'll be up all night scanning the city for the evil geeker. I guess you'll have to stay up looking for the bad old naughty evil recalcitrant geeker without me. My heart weeps. <laughs> Now that's music to my ears. What they call serious? The Dog Star. Well, don't blame me. I didn't name it.
Is it morning already? So for some reason, Geeker, when you fall asleep, you turn into some kind of monster. I'll never be accepted by normal people if they think I'm going to eat them. Yeah, tell me about it. We'll try to find out what's causing this. And meanwhile, <sighs> you have to stay awake, Geeker! I am so on top of that. Dear Diary, once I got my second wind, staying up all night became fun. I painted everyone's toenails, gave Becky a new hairdo, and baked some brownies. Looky, guys, we didn't have any sugar, so I used soap. I was twisting the night away when Noah said... I found something. There's a signal coming in from space that seems to be tuned to Geeker's unconscious brain. Where you hear all the hits all the time, Kimo Sabe. Stow it, Geeker. We have to find the source of that signal and shut it down. Which means renting a shuttle. Which means getting Geeker through the spaceport. <laughs> Without being noticed. Sure. Any ideas, Geeker? Yeah. Electric oysters. Self-opening. <clears throat> okay. We can do this. We've got to do this. Geeker! You have to stay awake! I know that! Oh, what was that about? Well, it's the first sign that you need sleep. You get cranky. Okay, maybe just a little. Oh, man, it's going to stick out like a sore thumb at the spaceport. Maybe not. I have an idea. We need a private hauler. Somebody that works cheap. And doesn't ask any questions. Wow, 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 wow. The scary thing is, he's developed a following. Geeker is already showing signs of advanced sleep deprivation. If his condition keeps getting worse, he'll become irrational. Huh, there's a novelty. He may even start hallucinating. <laughs> Look out for the dancing hippos! Kind of like that? Uh-huh. It's the monster! Blast them! We're out of here.
philosophy. Crocodiles are eating the ostriches. Oh, the humanity. There's what we need. Unfortunately, you're right. Hey, fly boy. The name's Buzz. And this had better be dead gum important. Medical emergency. I believe you. There they are! Get this rust bucket airborne! Rust bucket? Diplomacy, Macbeth. I mean that in the flattering pro-oxidation sense, of course. Rust bucket my thorax. Next you'll probably want to see my pilot button. You do have one, right? As if. What's wrong with your friend, anyway? The uh, brain fleas. <laughs> yep. I had the nose slice once. Darn near warm a finger to the bone. Ooh. Hey, the signal's getting stronger. It's coming from that space station. Monkeys all gone. Oh, oh. Yeah, gone. Monkeys gone. <laughs> okay, Buzz. He's better now. Uh, better than what? Fellas gotta wonder. Looks like your friend's recovered. Greek marmalade in the gene pool. I had a cousin like him once. Voices in his head told him to make soup. Great. Thanks for sharing. I'm through. Quietly now. Uh, yeah. Wait for us. Sure thing. Can I get paid now? As if. Okay, but the meter's running. There's our target. Soften it up for me, Macbeth. Come no further. I press this button. Doctor Maston. Doink. So you were controlling Geeker. Don't be stupid. If I could control him, I would have just made him come to me. I have merely been influencing him, stimulating his sleeping brain and implanting the urge to destroy. So, all we need to do is wreck your machine and Giger can sleep in peace. <laughs> no, that won't help you now. All of Neo Denaire thinks he's a monster. The stupid public doesn't know that I was behind Geeker's rampage. With the entire city against him, Geeker will have no place to hide. You might as well hand him over. Did you get that, Becky? Every syllable. The stupid public doesn't know that I was behind Geeker's rampage. I was behind Rampage. Give me that recording! I've already uploaded it to the news network. Mm -hmm. It'll be broadcast all over Neo Denaire. Then you force me to use Lulu Bear. I named her after my mother. Oh, this is trouble. Rock-a-bye-geeker in the test tube. What are you doing? Singing him to sleep. 
When it boils over, he'll still be a boob. can't stay for a power breakfast. Bye, Mr. Moloch. It seemed like such a good plan. No. Nine animators, one vision. directors combine their unique talents to create one spectacular animation event. Carnival, the animation event of the year. I'm 
この海の向こうに私のふるさとがそんな気がする地球とよく似た惑星だったんだええよく似ている本当によく似ているファニーのふるさとはマウント惑星であるマウント惑星は新海風磨の攻撃を受けて惑星ごと消滅してしまったアニーはフーマに復讐すべく地球担当を志願したのだった家族は両親と妹が一人パパは警察署長をしていたわシャイダーの家族は話してくれないけど両親とも俺が小さい頃に死んだ俺はおばあちゃんに育てられたんだそのおばあちゃんもそうシャイダーも一人ぼっちだったのこの地球をマウント星の二の前にしてはいけない地球は私の第二のふるさとよもうフーマには渡せないわお互い一人ぼっち同士兄応答なし無限地獄から持ち帰りました不思議花でございます<音声>この花粉を吸えば無限地獄に誘い込まれまさに夢うつつこの花を地上にばらまけば人間どもを無限地獄に落とし込み社会機能を麻痺させようというのだなそうですいかがでござりましょうや大帝王首来様我らが戦略を一度ならず二度までも邪魔したやつがおる宇宙刑事サイダー女宇宙刑事兄宇宙刑事を征伐せよ私にお任せください一刀両断に叩き切ってありますおいこの一五二十待ちなさいヘスラー指揮官どうせ始末するのなら無限地獄に引きずり込んで大帝王クビライ様不思議銃をお授けください<音楽>
宇宙船で脱出したんですそれで地球ここ動かないで。冷静になれよ君も見たろマウント惑星が消滅する瞬間をどうやって脱出するんだそんな暇なんかありゃしないじゃあこれは罠だよフーマンが仕掛けた罠そうかしら兄らしくないぜ宇宙刑事だろそうねあまりにも唐突すぎるわねそうだよなんならその魔人山の山荘手洗い行ってみようかシャイダーの言う通りだと思うフーマの罠に決まってる予定通りのコースをパトロールするわうん何かあったら連絡しろえする直前に脱出したのかももしマウント星人だったら家族のことが切らせるかもしれないああペットの散歩に出発あっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっ車ばっかり乗っかってるとね、足と腰がダメになっちゃいますよ。<笑>ご忠告ありがとう。でも俺忙しいんだ。ごめんね。じゃあ。よ、だ、だいちゃん、ちょ、ちょ、逃げられちゃった。沢村さんって何の仕事してるんだろう。いつもムラムラしちゃって。犯人はシャイダーの了解を取らず、魔人山の山荘を訪ねることにした。万が一の可能性に望みをかけて。
こちらに謝罪をお願います俺だウーマに収益されてるの今マジに山よよし次いじめられてるわシャイダー聞いたことがあるわこいつよ気をつけるよアニーこいつとは人殺しを何たんも思わない俺いけつかんだ<笑>花の花粉を吸い込みアニーは無限地獄へ落ちましたシャイダーを見れば反射的に攻撃するでしょう宇宙刑事同士打ち合いさせるとはのうアニーアニーアニーは一体どこへシャイダー
サイダーストープは50センチのコンクリートを凍死する能力があるのだ左45度サイアンロケット兄、やつだ。兄、パパの仇を撃ってお願い。兄、何するんだ。兄。何するの目を覚ませ、兄やめて世界からできている不思議時空には全ての原子核が圧縮されており 6,000 度のネット光を発して煮えたにしている。
探したぜ私最低よよりによってシャイダーに銃を向けるなんて宇宙研修の資格なんてない俺だって自信ない兄と同じ状況に置かれたらなダメ私もうダメこのまま尻尾を巻いて逃げ出すのか一りぼっち同士頑張ろうと言ったのは誰だ風磨との戦いはまだ始まったばかりなんだ風磨の甘く残酷な罠に落ちた兄その罠から助け出したシャイだ未熟な宇宙刑事はこれからもお互い助け合っていくしかない恐るべき風磨と戦うために消結せよ宇宙刑事シャイだ生物オウムが支配する滅亡寸前の未来世界清らかな風の吹く風の谷に心優しい少女ナウシカがいた人類は残り少ない資源を争って戦い合いそのためにオウムの力を利用しようとしていた。しむナウシカの愛と勇気が燃え上がる詩純な愛と冒険にあふれたスペクタクルロマン「風の谷のナウシカ」。
「安らぎ」「捨てて全てを」「捨てて悪を追って空かける」「チェンジ・ビア・パラダイス」「君はなぜ君はなぜ戦い続けるのか命を懸けて」怪盗ゼロゼロ案は直ちに警視庁へ連行されたのである俺たちの裏をかいて次々に盗みを働いていた怪盗ゼロゼロ案はもっと殺そうとした男だと思っていたんだそれなのにお前と来たらしょぼくれやがってうわっなんだうわっうわっ外に打ち込んでる時の男の人っていい顔してるじゃないうるさいんだよもうその怪獣を見たのは誰なんだいあら興味あるわけいや別にあねえ聞いてよその怪獣を見たのはね警視庁捜査三課の現職の刑事よその松本って刑事さんの話によるとね怪獣はすごい光を発したんだってすごい光そう目がくらむような光だってねえどう思う私その怪獣と逃亡した怪盗ゼロゼロワンとのつながりを追ったら特ダネになると思うんだけどな<笑>よしときなよ UFO の映画じゃあるまいしそんな怪獣いるわけねえだろだけど山城拓也は再び鉄十字弾が暗躍を開始したことを察知し強い憤りを感じていた
を閉じてはいけませんさあじっと見るのよ<音声>あなたは身軽な体を持っていますどんなビルでも平気でよじ登れますねあなたは今日からスパイダースパイダーマンそうよスパイダーマンなのですビルからビルへ忍び込み好きなだけ盗みまくるのですいいですね盗むのです荒らし回るのです連れておいき教授スパイダーマンは店のスパイダーマンが現れたと知ったら姿を現すでしょうか必ず姿を現すスパイダーマンを倒さぬ限りわしの夢は実現できぬ何としてもスパイダーマンの正体を暴きやつを殺してやる催眠をかけられた岡部は直ちに行動を開始したのだ電光石火の早業大都会を我が物顔で荒らし回る雲男怪盗スパイダーマン依然行方つかめず山城拓也はスパイダーマンの偽物を許せなかったそこで彼は恋人の瞳を怪盗001を追う警視庁捜査三課の松本刑事に接触させたしつこい人だな。何の恨みがあって俺をつけ回すんだあらご迷惑当たり前だ刑事さん昨夜逃げられた怪盗001をパクるつもりなんでしょう逃げられた逃げられたって大きな声で言わないでくれよそれはお前さんとどういう関係あるんだ<笑>終わりよどうして刑事さんが怪盗001を追い詰めて逮捕するその決定的瞬間は私がカメラでパチリその写真が全国に報道されたら<笑>刑事さん一躍時の人よ<笑>はあ時の人かうん、ギブアンドテイクでいきましょうねいつだこんなところに張り込んでるのもう3時間も経つわ疲れちゃった<笑>ウーマンリブでも弱音吐くところを見ると女なんだな<笑>失礼ね怪盗ゼロゼロワンは必ずこの近くのビルに現れるそれは刑事としてのかそれともやつは3ヶ月前この辺りのビルを荒らし回ったんだそろそろ舞い戻っていい潮時だカイトゼロゼロワンだいないわ行くぞまたもや雲男現る警視庁岩職なし。お兄ちゃんったら亡くなったお父さんにそっくりね。お父さんもお食事の時はいつも新聞読んでた。お母さんに叱られていたっけ。うん、お行儀が悪いわよね。お兄ちゃん、私の言ってること聞いてないの。こんにちは。
あ私ったらどうしてこうまぬけでどうしようもないおっちょこちょあうんやっちゃうなゆうべ特段にうつかむチャンスだったのにさあ私ったら元気出せよ特段を物にできるチャンスはまた来るさ<笑>それもそうねあああうんお腹すいちゃったえあらこりゃ色気より食いけだ、うん、偽のスパイダーマンの暗躍は俺をおびき寄せるための罠かもしれないしかしスパイダーマンの命を注がなければならないスパイダーマンが泥棒していると世間の人たちに誤解されたくない偽のスパイダーマンは勝手知ったビルを荒らし回っている一昨日の夜はここそして昨夜はこの一帯だとなると今度はこの辺りかもしれないスパイダーマンスパイダーマン山城拓也は必死に偽のスパイダーマンを探し求めたのであった。偽物では現れたわねスパイダーマンお前が姿を現すのを待っていたのよ地獄からの使者スパイダーマン用はない助けてくれ助けてくれそこから飛び降りて死ね
鉄十字団の恐ろしさが分かったか奴らは血も涙もないお前が連れ込まれた鉄十字団のアジタはどこなんだ教えてくれ目隠しされてて分からないどうして泥棒になったんだ人のものを盗むのは悪いとは思うのか俺の耳にはあのジンタの音は俺は生まれつき身が軽いそして子供の時からサーカスに憧れていたきっとサーカスを好きな多くの子供たちがいるに違いないその夢を多くの子供たちに与えたかったんだ俺はどうしても世界一の軽業師になり子供たちに夢を与えたかったんだそのために金を盗み自分のサーカスを作ろうとしたのかそ,そうなんだお前の行為は間違っている盗んだ金で夢を与えても子供たちは決して喜びはしない俺が悪かった<笑>罪を償って新しく生きるんだ鉄十字団が来る俺が奴らを引きつけるお前は警察に電話をして一切を話すんださやれあスパイダーストリングわが者明るい太陽の中でそんな光が効くものかだから俺は太陽が昇るのを待っていたんだ<笑>スパイダーストリング<笑>貴様何者だマシンベンベンベンいい
の口が飛ぶ負けてたまるか危機を脱したスパイダーマンだが誰一人としてそれを知る由しはない孤独な戦いは果てしなく続く負けるなスパイダーマン闇深く響く地獄の足音模様の下目の前に広がる風景は夕べ見た夢にそっくりだ悪夢から目覚めた山城拓也に迫り来る死への正体鉄十字団モンスター教授のスパイダーマン抹殺計画危うしスパイダーマン次回恐怖の反魚人奇跡を呼ぶ銀の糸どうぞお楽しみに There is evil at work in the land to the west. It's your fate to go there and see with eyes unclouded by hate. The legends say the blood of the great forest spirit can heal anything. Without that ancient god, this desolate place will be the richest land in the world. You would do that? Kill the very heart of the forest? You better watch out there, young man. Lady Iboji wants to rule the world. Why can't the humans in the forest live together? Why can't we stop this fighting now? Quiet! That woman is evil. <laughs> There's no one who can stop me from killing her. Princess of Beasts, if it's me you want, here I am. I dream of when I will finally crunch that woman's head in my jaws. But even that wouldn't end the killing now, would it? Everyone, this is what hatred looks like. This is what it does when it catches hold of you. You're on their side. You always were. No, what I want is for the humans in the forest to live in peace. You cannot alter your fate. However, you can rise to lead it if you choose.
として広がる大宇宙は神秘のベールに包まれあまたの謎をはらんで悠久の生命を保っているその大宇宙の人かけら生きとし生けるもの飽くことなく攻防の歴史を繰り返しているクレセント大銀河の歴史もまた同じこと我らがイラスタント太陽系第五惑星アーストも何万年攻防が繰り返されたことかその一つがまた始まろうとしていた。めでたいのう<笑>よくやったぞケリア<笑><笑>強そうな子だ<笑>ジョルディと名付けようジョルディ良い名前ですわ<笑>おめでとうございますこれでオーダー王国の明日も安泰でございます<笑>ジョルディ王子よお前は未来を照らす光だ<笑><笑>
すでに辺境の砦は壊滅城下も火の海にございます油断であった揺れはさせぬぞこのボーダー城だけは陛下マーダルは魔力を使う強敵万が一をお考えくださいませこのアズメスメだお妃様和子様ともども早く城外へ私が退けば城の命運は尽きる城はもはやこれまでさあ早くなる兵を捨てて逃げるは地獄最後まで戦うぞこの場でそのようなことを再起は生きてあればこそ王子はお前が守れ頼むぞ陛下何をしているはずです急げ主の館には敵を入れるな陛下は兵士を鼓舞して戦っておられます今は落ち延びることを嫌ですボーダーと共になりませぬそれが陛下の願い和子を守り抜けとあさあ急ぐのですご無礼死ぬな死ぬな
ルディを頼みますイラスタントの神をフェリア様にご加護ジョルディ逃げて一夜にしてオーダー一族三千年の歴史が崩壊したいいなこの王子が存命している限り終わりではないいつの日か最高の夢も忌わしき日から苦悩の旅は始まったマーダル配下の追求の目から逃れる逃亡の旅が。アーストを征服したマーダルが王子探索の指令を飛ばしていることは明白だ王子は私の孫としてお育てするのが一番の手立てだ闇雲に逃亡の旅を続けていたわけではなかったこの星のどこかに伝説の鉄巨人が存在することを信じてその謎の土地を求めていたのだ悪がのさばる時必ず鉄巨人ガリアンが現れて世の闇を払うという話は古から信じられていたことであった。
じっちゃん俺の母さんってそんなに綺麗か<笑>またそのことかうんジョジョのかかさまは綺麗じゃったこの世に二人とない人だったうんだけどいくら綺麗な母さんでも死んじまったんじゃなして生きておいでやらそれともあの時マーダルの手にかかっても変わらずそなたは美しいそなたの美しさだけが世の支えだ我が望みが叶うまでそこでそうして世を慰めてくれ<笑><笑>城跡には巨大で得体の知れない鉄の城が建造され惑星アーストを支配したマーダルはこの巨大な鉄城を本拠とすることを宣言した辺境の小国は惑星アーストの最高権威を誇示する土地に変貌していたマーダルはその不可視になる力を持って工業を起こし人々は己の運命の先をも知らされるままに怪しげなる目的に向け牛馬のごとき作業に駆り立てられていた。
たちのうちよ白い谷だあーいへ強そうな谷だな強そうな谷うん強そうだよまるで城だえ<笑>強そうか<笑>ついた白い谷はマーダルに反抗している人々が立てこもってる砦なんだ仲良くなったチュルルが俺に言った鉄球人のいる場所を知ってるってまさかでもひょっとして次回ガリアンの目覚めお楽しみにああ。This world is the destiny of mankind controlled by some transcendental entity or law. Is it like the hand of God hovering above? At least it is true that man has no control, even over his own will. Guts, you're not thinking of. Are you thinking of leaving the Hawks?
Your report, sir! We have suffered tremendous losses. This outpost is all that remains intact, sir! This is a fine state of affairs. To think that we, the White Tiger Knights, have one of the strongest armies in all of Midland, and we've been beaten so easily. The castle of Doldry is simply impregnable. I have a report! What now? Sir, the enemy has deployed at least a thousand new cavalrymen! They're heading in this direction, General! No! They are the Purple Rhino Knights, the strongest of Tudor's armies. This war was triggered when the Empire staged an invasion of Midland's territory. The castle of Dordre not only belonged to our kingdom, but it served as an integral part of our defenses. Ever since their occupation, this same fort has become the staging point for nearly every attack the armies of Tudor have launched against us. However, because of unrest over Imperial succession, the Tudor Empire is on the brink of civil war. This will likely engage much of their energy. And so they will be unable to use the full force of their military army against an invasion. This is indeed a rare opportunity for us. We must not miss this chance to achieve the conquest of Doldry. Now is the time to recapture our fief! Very well. What's to be done about it? Our primary concern should be the principal garrisons stationed there, the Purple Rhino Knights. They are the strongest of all the armies of Tudor, and they are led by the undefeated General Boscan. <sighs> A full-out attack may be our final option. That is far too risky. Consider the campaign thus far. We've already lost nearly 40% of our forces. Even with every man we have left, we could not be certain of a victory at Doldry. If the war is prolonged, we would inevitably be caught between their main army and the occupation forces. We cannot afford to act rashly. If we do, we will risk the annihilation of our entire armed forces. Either way, this campaign will lead us to victory. Yes. But our final objective in this war is to regain control of Doldry. The occupation of the castle is essential if we wish to recapture our fief. Even so, there is the issue of which unit to assign. You may remember, we lost the White Tiger Knights. True. And what is your opinion, Sir Griffith? I dare say, even your invincible band of the Hawk wouldn't be able to handle this matter, am I right? With the order, we could. Yes. It's too much even for the Hawks. <sighs> if your majesty gives me the order... Oh, Nonsense! Sir! Do you really think you're capable of your defeating them? Your knows nothing of the difficulties! It appears. The good luck he's had in the past has swollen his head and clouded his reason. During the past hundred years, not even the surface of that castle's defenses has been scratched despite numerous attempts to recapture it. Knowing this, you still believe you can conquer it. My Lord Griffith. Will you? Sir, he is reckless. Your Majesty, the Doldry Conquest demands we deploy tremendous numbers. If we squander this opportunity, the damage could cost us the war! A large force will not be necessary. The Band of the Hawk alone will deal with this matter. Don't be a fool. The occupational forces are 30,000 strong. You can't think they can be dealt with by a mere 5,000 men. You get carried away by your insolence. You can't believe your cunning little schemes will be enough to save you forever, boy. General? <sighs> it's no use raising your eyebrows. What's that? It's inevitable that sooner or later we must venture into a full-out war. It seems that we have little choice in the matter. A defeat or two does little to affect our army's morale, and we lose nothing by allowing them to attempt this maneuver. Considering the Hawks' past achievements, it's unfair to say that they stand no chance at all in dealing with this matter. You shouldn't underestimate Doldry. Others have had to fail. Majesty, what is your judgment?
It is my command that the Hawks commit themselves to Doldry. His Majesty is certainly aged. Entrusting this to a boy like that, and a newcomer. The Midland army has lost all dignity. I feel for him, but there is nothing to be done in this matter. You have quite a high opinion of that man, it would seem. I can't help wondering whether the White Hawk will rise to the occasion as you expect he will. Either way, I spoke the truth as I see it. Even if he should fail in this, after all, there is not a man alive in Midland's army today who could ensure victory at Doldry save him. Certainly. Hmm? It's a foolish thing for me as a man to say, and yet... He seems as though he stepped forth from a painting. Beyond all others. Huh? Perhaps we have fought by a hero such as the like of which comes once in a hundred years. A commander beyond all others. Doldry, huh? There's no point making yourself crazy over it. Whether it's dice or war, if it's meant to be, you'll win. Cut! Here goes. No! no! Oh, shit! Oh, damn it! Yes! The commander won everything again! <laughs> you had the devil's own luck, boss. That's it? I'm not quitting until I get my money back, damn it! I'm What's him? wrong? You look like there's something that's still bothering you, is there? No, not really. Hey, don't worry. It's not as though we haven't been through the same thing a thousand times before. If a self-preserving man like him offered to do this, the odds must be in his favor. Cut. I just hope that Griffith keeps his head. Huh? Do you remember what I told you a little while ago? When the Hawks got involved in that territorial dispute in that region? Griffith and the... That nobleman that you mentioned. Oh, oh shit! Oh, Commander! Oh, oh, I'm not a I'm quit! Uh, that nobleman was promoted to governor in a certain empire. His bribe money spoke the loudest when they awarded the position. Wait, you mean... The governor of the Empire of Tudor's Northlands, Governor Gannon. That's the title that he currently holds. Sir Adon, heavens be praised, we were all so worried about you. I, Lord Adon, known far and wide as a resourceful and invulnerable general, could never die so easily. Anyway, that boy, if we meet on the battlefield again, I definitely won't let him get away so easily. For shame, Adon! Uh. Your Grace, General Boscon! In order to settle a personal grudge, you deployed all those mercenaries, and all you return with is the shame of utter dissemination. And worse still, your brother Samson's life was lost. You have nerve. Returning after such disgrace. No, no! <laughs> well, it is not true, Your Grace. The truth is, I've. Uh, this is outrageous! <laughs> From here on, I thoroughly divest you of your right to command in this war. You should be thankful that I'm not throwing you into the dungeon to rot. Rumor has spread that you were defeated by a single warrior. That cannot be allowed. You were strict as usual. I could even hear your shouting from way up here. Please, excuse my manner. That is fine. It would seem that according to my spies, the second wave for the conquest of Doldry has been chosen. 
Their name is familiar to you by now. Band of the Hawk. Hmm. You seem amused. It's not that, I assure you. I believe they will be more of a challenge to defeat than the others who have relied on their numbers and reputation. Hmm. At any rate, I need to have a word with you before you set off to battle. Huh? It is a matter concerning the leader of the Hawks. The White Hawk, Griffith. You will keep him alive and return him to me unharmed. But, sir... Remember, these are your orders. Your wounds, they still hurt? Not even a little. I've been meaning to thank you for that medicine that you gave me. Don't mention it. We're gonna need everyone in top shape for the assault on Doldry. The two-tiered walls are built twice as high and twice as thick as any other castle. The far side is protected by a sheer cliff. Not to mention the purple rhinos who are stationed there. It's just like any other castle. Only bigger. We do it the same way we always have. Well, I hope so. That aside, I'm surprised he burned all the boats. What on earth is the White Hawk thinking? I wonder if his strategy is to take a position with his back to the river. All right then, they can temporarily hold out by their numbers alone. We'll march our army squarely at their ranks. However, could it be that the governor has some Relation to him? Well, it's a waste of time for me to worry about such absurdities. My sole duty to the end is to tear my opponents apart. <laughs> the White Hawk. I never once imagined I would see him alive again. I'll definitely have him. Damn it! Look at this dust! It's everywhere! It's a part of my plan. Are you all right? <laughs> Good. The time has come to move. I just hope that Griffith keeps his head. It'll never happen. He's the last man to lose his calm. This is the last time... I wield my sword under this flag. First formation, advance! But I'm not going to leave any loose ends behind. I will take full responsibility as the leader of the Hawks Raiders. Draw! First formation, charge! The enemy is charging! First formation contains 2,000 men, directly under the control of Griffith. Ridiculous. Why divide his army into two formations when he only has 5,000 men? What could it possibly be trying to prove with such a maneuver? All right, I accept your challenge. All units, charge! Crush that first formation into dust! Are these the hot Raiders we've heard so many reports about? Splendid. Commander! 
Never checked the purple rhino's assault before. How can we charge like this? We still risk being pushed back, General! That's him! Huh? Reportedly, he wiped out 100 mercenaries single handedly. So, it is true. Whitehawk does have some capable fighters. Remain steadfast! They're just trying to break our concentration! Fall back into formation! Then counterattack! The Hawks fight well against the Purple Rhino Knights. But they will soon come to realize their limits. Buscon, it seems you see this battle as your opportunity to kill Griffith. Someone, attend to me! Yes, sir! Have my personal guard prepare to take the field. I wish to command directly from the ground. But what about defending the castle? Nonsense. With the situation as it is, there is no opportunity for the Hawks to get close to the castle walls. Sir! My precious Hawk is coming back to me. I will not let him be killed for anything. <laughs> Captain! Now! The time is now! Now! Regroup at the base camp! Retreat! Come on, man! Get moving! <laughs> The enemy is retreating. Shall we pursue? Strange. Huh? They had to know the consequences of this particular strategy. Could this really have been the plot of the Invincible White Hawk? My intent is not to contradict you, but perhaps you think too highly of these men, General. Never mind that. Just give us the command to pursue them. If we let them get away, our soldiers will miss the chance to reap the spoils of war. Then we'll never hear the end of it. What are you doing, Boscon? Uh, huh? uh, Governor General, sir. The enemy is retreating. Will you miss seizing victory just to gape at their backs? No, sir. But we... Attention! I command all of you. Do not kill the enemy's leader, Count Griffith. He is to be captured alive. Huh? Any man who succeeds in capturing him will be promoted two ranks and be rewarded with whatever you wish. Governor, you should not promise such things. I cannot. But it affects military discipline. Buscon, from now on, I am taking command directly. The Purple Rhino Knights are to pursue immediately. Notify the entire army of my orders. And see, they are thoroughly enforced. General? It is beyond my control. All units move to pursue the enemy! I'm totally outnumbered in bringing up the rear all by myself. Even so, they're taking the bait just as Griffith predicted. Everything was executed so that it would play perfectly into your hand. As usual. Incredible view. <laughs> We're not going to deal with all of them, are we? Regroup formations! We have arrived at a crucial moment. Our backs are to the river. There's no way to escape. Stake your lives on this fight. Our survival demands that we stake our lives on this fight. And to survive is to be victorious!
For a man whose victories are entwined with his survival, defeat is forbidden. Though tormented and grieved, he turns his back not to victory. To grasp hold of his dream, the price ever will be bloodshed. Once more, this is the fate to befall a youthful heart. Hi, amigos. You ready for some bounty info? I'll take it. I'm just an old-fashioned cowboy. You're a bounty hunter. We'd like you to come along with us. He got away! Watch your back! I'm not a criminal. Oh, that makes me sound more like a criminal. It's complicated to be an outlaw nowadays. <laughs> Whoa. Life is the result of the struggle between dynamic opposites, form and chaos, substance and oblivion, light and dark, and all the infinite variations of yin and yang. When the pendulum swings in favor of one, it eventually swings back in favor of its opposite, and thus the balance of the universe is maintained. On Earth, this balance was disrupted by a nuclear holocaust which rendered technology useless and devastated the planet's population.
Human existence became a struggle for uncontaminated water and food. Only the strongest survived. And in this age of chaos, men were fearful, and power over other men made them feel less afraid. The flame of life on Earth was sputtering, and if extinguished, would never be rekindled. But there were those whose concern was not for themselves, but for their world and its inhabitants. Where can we go from here? We've been walking for days, and wherever we look, the Earth is barren. It's a wasteland. We can't let it end like this. If we fail, all that'll be left is dust. Who knows? Huh? Shin. The time has come. Julia is mine now. In times like these, only the strongest may possess what is most valuable. Uh, what are you doing? Oh. Let her go. Get back. I warn you. Don't stand in my way, Ken. I don't want to hurt you, but I will if I have to. You see, Julia's mine, understand? This is madness. The fists of the North and South aren't ever supposed to fight. You know that. Perhaps that was true once, but now rules are meaningless. Defend yourself! <laughs> Come, Julia. It's over. Oh, I can't leave him now. Not like this. Ken! Ken! Brother, the time has come for us to teach that bastard Shin a lesson. Now! I've won, and you have lost. The question is, why? Because the power of your will has no ambition to feed it. Nor the need to crush your enemy. Oh, no. Oh. Shin, at one time you were Ken's closest friend. He trusted and respected you. When you were chosen as Fist of the South Star, he was glad for you, glad for his friend's success. But you were never really his friend, were you? 
Yes, I was. But then he left, and when he came back, he brought you. The first time I saw you. I knew you'd be mine someday, and that day has come. Shin's broken all the rules, and to think that Ken trusted him like a brother. But we're his brothers. You're the strongest, Rao. You've got to get down there and challenge Shin to a fight. You know you can take him. Now, with Ken out of the way, you will be the fist of the North Star. Of course, it's your decision to face him or not, and I won't blame you if you don't. After all, we both know what happens if you challenge the power of the fist and fail. You either bleed to death, become a mindless vegetable, or worse. But I'm certain you're strong enough to win. And who knows better than me? I'm your brother, aren't I? Believe me, I know how much you love Julia, but I'm certain that you want what's best for her. Ken! For instance, you want her to be safe, don't you? And look at how you've protected her. Under the circumstances, it's clear that she'll be safer with me. I'll never be your Shin. Julia, you have no choice. You're mine now. Force is the only way you'll get me to leave him. But I won't ever go of my own free will. Oh, perhaps I can change your mind. Changed your mind yet? It's up to you, Julia. Does he live or does he die? Say it, Julia. Speak and I'll stop. Just say you belong to me. She knows I'd rather die than hear that shin. Just as I know that she'd rather die than say it. If that's the way you want it, so be it! I hate to do this to an old friend, but I'm afraid you've left me no choice. No more! Say it. No, Julia. I am your Shin. Louder, much louder. When you whisper like that, it's hard for me to believe that you're sincere, so say it again, but this time with feeling. Make me a believer. Uh, Julia! Shin, I'm yours! I give myself to you with all my heart. Just don't hurt him again. It's over, you've won. <laughs> Did you hear what she just said, Ken? Fascinating, isn't it, how changeable women are? One minute they say they want you, and the next minute they say they want someone else. That's because they only want who they've got until someone better comes along. <laughs> but of course, she is right. Julia is tremendously loyal to whomever is the strongest. And I'm afraid you just don't qualify. Oh, Ken. <laughs> Ken. 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 No! Ken! Come, Julia. It's time to go. Julia. Julia. Julia! Ken! I'm sorry. He's still breathing. Think he'll make it? Even if he does, he'll be weak. The fist of the North Star must be strong. Like me. If you're so sure of yourself, why don't you go after Shin and challenge him right now? You'll have to face him sooner or later. Julia, come back. Ah. She left the seeds. These seeds will make the earth green again someday.
<laughs> I hate to admit it, Ken. But our brother Rao's right. You're weak. Still, there's no point in taking any chances. So now you die! Ryakin, the fist of the North Star has been defeated. Shin crushed him as he would an insect. When you chose Ken as your successor, I told you that it should have been me, and I was right. Stand up. I'll prove it to you. I challenge you to a test of strength. Physical strength is no substitute for perception. For perception is the key which unlocks the intangible power of the spirit. You perceive nothing. You silly old fool. Stop hiding behind your metaphors and metaphysical fantasies. The fist of the North Star is dead. Your point? Don't you understand? Now I'm fist of the North Star. are greater than ever before. No one could stand against me. Maybe, but you see, power without perception is spiritually useless and therefore of no true value. Useless? <laughs> Ryakin, what a foolish old man you are. Any tool is useful if you know how to use it. And I've become an expert. Watch! Admit it. At this moment, I'm more powerful than you ever were. I am Fist of the North Star. I don't agree. And I never shall. Go and do what you must, Rao, but never set foot in this dojo again. I am 
from the fist of the North Star. Show me the power. Prove that I'm right. Yes, show me now. Take a look. I knew it. I told you these two would have food, didn't I? I was right. Come on, stop wasting time. That buggy's had it. it. Whatever village it's those kids came from can't be too far from here. We better go stop. tell Zender. Now! Maybe it's just a loose wire or something. You're gonna start now, you piece of crap, you understand? Huh? <laughs> hey, my car! What the? Hey! Well, what do you know? The kid's still alive. Get into my car, you hear me? Hey! Take the food, everything else! Uh, but if you scratch that car, I'm gonna be forced to kill ya! <laughs> hey, what do we got here? Maybe it's jewelry. Nah, just a bunch of seeds. A bunch of crummy seeds not worth anything. Ugh. Ow! Give me that stick, you little bitch! Let her go! Hey, let her go, let you ate! She's just a little girl! She can't hurt Better you! Get Put rid her of down! Them. Right! You're sure a feisty little run, aren't you? Sweet dreams, kid! Ugh! <laughs> Ugh! <laughs> 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 
a mile from town. Be that as it may, I heard the girl cry out. That's bullshit. Hmm? I mean, you couldn't have. W whatever you heard, it wasn't her. See, Lynn's a mute. Can't say a thing. Our families were friends before the war, and she used to talk so much, we called her motor mouth. But then the war came, and she was forced to watch while her folks were burned alive. And ever since then, she hasn't spoken a word. Nice kid. If you hadn't come along today, I don't know what I would have... Hmm? Great. Fall asleep, why don't you?
Listen, you people! Just bring us all your food and water and we're on our way! Refuse me, and the girl will be the first to die! If we give up, you'll most likely kill us all anyway! <laughs> Maybe so, but if you don't, I'll break this kid into pieces and stuff him down your throat! <laughs> Show me who you are! That's the one! Ah. Get him! Zenda, put her down and let her go. Yeah, sure, I'll put her down. Right after I break her neck. Just suffer, then you die. Nice and slow. You hear me? Cause when I fight, it's always to the death. That's right. In fact, you're already dead. Is that so? Lovely child, pity she can't speak. Is there nothing you can do for her? Lynn, is that your name? My name's Ken. What I'm about to do might feel a little strange at first, but I promise not to hurt you, all right? I'm here because you cried out. Yes. With your mind, let it rest now, serene and calm. Lynn, are you all right? Don't worry, she'll recover in a few moments. She'll be able to speak now. Oh, come on, that'd be a miracle. Are you sure? For you, Lynn. What's inside is as valuable as anything on Earth. The seeds of new life. I know of only two people special enough to make them bloom, and one of them is you. Oh, don't go. Stay here with us. Talk about weird. Boy, what an oddball. 
Liv, you talked. Why did he have to go away? Ken! Oh, Ken. a girl. Either way, you die. Sorry, I don't agree. I believe you are the one who's about to die. In fact, there's no doubt about it. belong to you? Oh, no! Ah! Listen, asswipe, I need some information. Tell me what I want to know and I'll save your miserable life. Otherwise, you can bleed to death. Now, tell me, where's the one they call the Fist of the North Star? These fools refused to acknowledge Lord Ken's authority. Now they're dead. So, you there, do you live or die? Please, oh please, let me go! First, you must show your master the respect that he deserves. Bow down to my Lord Ken, the man with seven wounds, the fist to the North Star. I'll say anything, do anything you want, just don't kill me! See how you've neglected the statue of your lord and leader. Why, one might think that this entire village was disloyal. Now's your chance to convince me of your loyalty. Tell me, who's your master? The, the, the Fist of the North Star. Yeah, right. We might just have a winner, folks. Just one more thing. All you gotta do is decapitate your friend there. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, you heard him. Just do it. <laughs> what are you waiting for, an invitation? <laughs> No, I can't do it. I just can't you do it. You call that loyalty? You had your chance, asshole, and you blew it. Who needs you? Why? Why would the man who killed Zender and saved our village send these animals here to kill us? I can't believe the Fist of the North Star would do such a thing. Oh, yeah? Huh? Uh, 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 yes, again. Uh, 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 Who's that guy? My name is Ray, and I'm looking for the man you've described. The man with seven wounds who calls himself the Fist of the North Star. All right, you hold it. I'll give you this much. You got guts walking in here like this. Give me that. So, with all due respect, I'll let you be the one to cut his head off. That's quite an honor, but I'd hate for you to miss all that fun on my account. You sure about this? Hey, what are friends for, right? Wait a minute. I was talking about the other guy. Silly me. What a foolish mistake. I got a splitting headache. Oh? <laughs> Better now? Take me to your boss. Ken, the man with the seven wounds, the fist of the North Star. The hell I will, I'll... One question. Satisfy my curiosity. That statue in the town square, who's it supposed to be? Hmm? The fist of the North Star! Ah! <laughs> 
It's a good likeness, but it's not the fist of the North Star. <laughs> My brother Jaggy always did have a glass jaw. Shine them perfectly, or I'll make you lick them clean. Yes, Lord Jaggy. Ailey, how dare you speak uh, to your lord and master without permission? Such insubordination must be punished. You uh, disappoint uh, me, slave. Uh, Get up and bring me the whip. Jaggy's pretending to be me. He's this man with seven wounds you've been looking for. That may be so, but I won't know if you're telling me the truth until I find him. Yes, I understand. But since we both want to find him, why don't we join forces until we do? That's fair enough. A truce until I know for certain who's responsible for kidnapping my sister. Her wedding veil. She was about to marry her lifelong sweetheart, Ken. She was so happy. I've been away for a while and was on my way home when it happened. Our village was attacked and almost everyone was killed. It was one of the survivors who told me that Ailey was still alive and that the man who'd taken her had seven wounds and wore an iron mask. Dismiss me like some stray dog begging for scraps, but not anymore. What's the gun for? If you think you can beat me, then use your you fist. You idiot! I don't care about codes of honor or bullshit uh. philosophy. I want what's mine, and now I'm gonna get it. Stop it! You're acting like a fool. You're the youngest. You don't deserve to be fist. Who die? I'm gonna rip you into most of my life, I've called you brother. No more. Lord Jaggy, the fat one has disappeared. Lord Jaggy. seen a ghost or worse do you think I don't know how disgusting my face is you can't even bear to look at me can you no oh, please please my lord forgive me I didn't be too much the scum who don't pay proper respect to their lord don't deserve to live So, this pretender, this so-called brother of yours, has his hooks into Ailey. Until we find her. 
so. Ken has finally come, has he? Ailey. Master? You might become useful after all. How may I serve you, my lord? You must be Lord Jaggy's brother. He told me that you'd be showing up sooner or later. Good. Now get out of my way, pig. Nope. I don't think so, not today. See, the boss told me to stop you. And nobody gets by me unless I say so. <laughs> hey, what's the matter, little fella? You got your hand stuck? You're not the first one it's happened to, and you won't be the last. You see, that's why I'm Lord Jaggy's bodyguard. He doesn't like uninvited guests. And since you don't have an invitation, I'm afraid you're gonna have to leave. <laughs> Next time, call first. <laughs> Need a hand? I do appreciate the offer. But I can handle this guy by myself, thanks. Yeah? That's what you think, wise guy. Yeah! Ha! Nice try, guy. Say your goodbyes, lard ass, because you're already dead. Ah! Ah! You see, what did I tell you? Still in one piece, good as new. <laughs> hmm. A little sloppy, but interesting technique. to introduce my brother, the one who killed your parents and abducted Ailey. So, Ailey's brother, isn't that nice, a family reunion, how touching. Let the show begin. <laughs> my lord, I am at your command. What is your wish? I shall do anything and everything in my power to please you. Ailey. No! Ailey! Oh, I understand. You've given me to another, a new master, as you wish, my lord. I bid my new master welcome and promise that I will serve you as I have served Lord Jaggy. Oh, no. Ken, she can't see a thing. True, but as a result, her other senses are more acute. Her sense of touch, for instance. <sighs> you filthy animal! <gasps> <laughs> You'd kill to get her back, wouldn't you? Then do us both a favor and kill my brother. And your sister will be free to go. Ray, you know it's a lie. Refuse, and your sister will ah. die. <laughs> Jaggy's a coward. He's so afraid of me, he has to have others do his fighting for him. <laughs> you always were the clever one, weren't you, brother? But your cleverness won't do you any good. I know all your tricks. I know. You think that by calling me a coward, you'll maneuver me into making a mistake. You've made a fool of me all my life, but not this time. Now I hold the winning hand, brother. Winning hand? Sure, and everyone respects a winner, right? You think anyone will respect you for kidnapping a helpless girl and holding her hostage? And using her as a shield to protect yourself from me? 
Everyone will pay heed to Lord Jaggy. They will. I know they will. Hey, what the hell? But I see your point. After all, why should I be robbed of the pleasure of killing you myself? The rest of you, guard the girl and her brother. I'll take care of them later. Is that panic I hear in your voice? Don't worry, it'll all be over soon. Now I'm going to make you suffer like I have. What you have suffered is nothing compared to the suffering you've caused others. You're wrong, brother. No one has known pain like I have. Intense, never-ending pain. And it's all thanks to you. The only reason I had to go on living was revenge. Jaggy, why did you throw me over the cliff instead of finishing me off when you had the chance? That was a mistake. I should never have listened to Rao. What do you mean? Rao believed that you'd been so badly wounded in your fight with Shin that you wouldn't recover or be able to fight again. Besides, killing a helpless cripple wouldn't have been much fun. Not nearly as much as I'm going to have now. Come on. your gun if you think it'll help. You think I won't? Just watch. Uh -huh. You know, sometimes a blow like that can affect your muscle control. If I were you, I'd get rid of that gun. You've changed, haven't you? You're a lot stronger and trickier, too. But I've got some tricks of my own. <laughs> Come on, brother. Let's see if you're fireproof, too. Your time has run out. Farewell, brother. <laughs> but there's so much you don't know. Why do you think your old friend Shin turned on you and took your woman? Didn't you ever wonder about his sudden change of heart? He once thought that Julia could never love anyone but you, until I convinced him otherwise. Julia made me swear not to tell you, but I want what's best for her. After all, I love her like she was my own sister. In her heart of hearts, you're the one she's in love with. She doesn't care about him anymore, believe me. Besides, who's going to protect her? In times like these, only the strongest can protect the ones they love. Ken's not as strong as you are. You're the one who can keep her safe. You're the one she loves. She wants you, Shin. She wants you with all her heart. She belongs to you. She's yours. So take her. Take her now. now. So it was you all along. Clever, wasn't it? Your old friend, faithful and trustworthy, who never thought of betraying you until I turned him into your most dangerous enemy. <laughs> poor, poor Ken. You've lost your woman, you've lost your friend, and now you lose your life, for I am the true fist of the North Star.
don't seem to understand that you're a dead man. <laughs> You dare ask me for help? I never realized what an idiot you really are, Jaggy. You're the idiot. You've lost everything, you fool. Everything. Yes, admit it. You've lost and I won. I'm the fist of the North Star. You're nothing, nothing, do you hear? <laughs> Just ask anyone, they'll tell you Lord Jaggy is the one who... Uh, <laughs> Jaggy. Damn. What a waste. <laughs> it's me, your brother, Ray. You all right? I recognize your voice. Oh, yes, I know. You're my new master. What is your will, my lord? Tell me, how may I please you? No. Oh, no. Ailey. Uh, oh. Ailey! Ken, is she going to be all right? Will she ever know who I am? Her memory will return, but there's nothing I can do for her blindness. Her eyes haven't been injured. She just won't allow herself to see. Oh, Julia. Julia. Well, hello. Hello yourself. Ken, look. Lynn, that's one of Julia's flowers. Mm-hmm. Yes, I remember. I was going to be married, wasn't I? That's right, Ailey. Go on. What else can you recall? I had a brother. His name was Ray, I think. Ray is me, Ailey. Don't you know me? Come on, look at me. No. If I look at you, you'll look at me, and you'll see all the horrible things I've done. <laughs> I don't know how to help her. She says she can't open her eyes. Too much pain. Too much suffering. I know what you mean. The world's a pretty ugly place right now, and what's left isn't worth seeing. Death everywhere. I can't look at any more death. Feeling sorry for yourself isn't going to make things grow again. It's going to take a lot of hard work. Lynn? When a bear is fast asleep in the wintertime, it may look like he's dead, but he's not. When spring comes, he wakes up full of life, and the Earth can too, if we all work together to wake it up. Just reach out and I'll prove it to you. All right. It's a flower, and it's blooming. It's a real flower. I never thought I'd see a flower again. Eile, if you want to see it, you gotta open your eyes. <sighs> Beautiful, so beautiful.
Julia, so beautiful as always. Why? Why do you refuse to accept my gifts when other women would sell their souls to possess them? Just as you would do anything to possess me if only I were willing to allow it. You say that you love me, even though you know I feel nothing for you. Must both our lives be wasted, meaningless, and unhappy? Given time, people can change, even you, someday. You talk about your life being wasted, but you're the one who's wasting it. You're in love with a ghost, a phantom. Ken is dead, and all your tears and prayers and hope won't bring him back. Liar, if Ken were dead, I'd know it. The Earth is dying. It must be brought back to life. Bring the Earth back to life? Why try? It's a waste of time. Impossible. Listen, Julia. This town is one of the few places left. You can eat what you grow. It's the only place for thousands of miles around where the soil is fertile enough to grow crops and the water is pure enough to drink. The poisoned winds which wind around the world pass over the graveyards that were once called cities and then move on to contaminate the rest of the earth. Unless nature can heal her own wounds, there's no way to stop it. And eventually, it will all be gone. The plants, the animals, the people, the cities. Not a trace of life. Nothing but a dead and barren ball of rock spinning through space. Julia, when there is no future, we must take what we can before it's too late. This girl you've been looking for, what's her name? Julia. Julia, she has a lovely name. We had planned to get married and spend the rest of our lives together spreading the seeds of life wherever they'd grow to make the earth green again. I love her, Ray. You can't imagine how much. I believe that your separation from Julia must be linked to the ultimate fulfillment of your destiny. Fate's plan, in which we must all play a part. I have a hunch that your role's an important one. I wouldn't be surprised if the world needs you even more than you need Julia. Whatever I was destined to do in this world, we'll have to wait until I get Julia back. Right now, that's all that matters. I have no idea what fate has in store for you, but you must remain open to any possibility. as if they were insects and send Raul to burn in hell.
leave, Julia. I'm not sure for how long. Rouse a madman trying to prove that he's king of the world. His armies are ravaging what little is left, and I have to stop him. I wish you luck, naturally. How incredibly touching, my love. Rarely have I heard such heartfelt sentiment. Sir? Excuse me, sir, but Rao and his forces are approaching the outer perimeter. Already? He is moving faster than I expected, but I'm ready for him. Sir, one more thing. We've learned that Jackie the Pretender was killed a couple of days ago. Hmm? His brother Ken, the real Fist of the North Star, is the one that's said to have killed him. He's alive. When I thought Ken was dead, my heart turned to ice, and I've been a walking corpse ever since. But no longer. Ken is alive. I've got to find him. I've got to. Search the palace till she's found. Yes. Stay on guard and keep alert. Captain, have you seen Julia? I'm sorry, sir. There's no time to look for her now. The outer perimeter's been breached. No time for Julia. Is that right? No, sir. I didn't mean that. I was merely trying to... No time? Lieutenant, take a hundred men off guard duty. Sir? Bring Julia to me as soon as you find her.
Rao, he's close. Very close. I can feel him. Welcome. You kill me. I kill you. We destroy each other. What does it matter? Let it begin. Rao, I presume? It's all mine. And your woman, too. Huh? <laughs> you came a long way just to steal a woman, Rao. I recall reading something about ancient Greeks who did that once, but I never finished the book. Let's get on with it. All right. If you're that eager to die, I'll oblige you. Anytime you're ready. Your move. Jin's fortress is on fire. Julia! Shin. Hello, Ken. How nice to see you again. How have you been? I've been better. Where's Julia? She's not here right now. Would you like to leave a message? Very funny. Afraid I'm not in the mood for your twisted sense of humor. Now, where is she? I thought you'd ask that question. I wish I knew, Ken. Honestly, I do. Answer me, damn it. But then we wouldn't fight, and we're destined to do that! If I'd known you'd improved so much, I would have trained for this fight. I don't want to hurt you, Shin, but you've left me no choice. Well done, Ken. Well done. Now tell me, where is she? As usual, you're a little bit late, Ken. I couldn't make her happy, Ken, no matter how hard I tried. She could have had it all, you know, anything she wanted. I gave her everything and got nothing in return. Not a spark, not a glimmer. Because you were there standing in my way. Shin, where is she? Tell me. This was to be Julia's wedding dress. It took ten seamstresses a year to make it. But of course, she'll never wear it now that she's gone away. She's gone? Oh, yes. Far, far away. With Rao. Where is she? Oh, you should have seen him, Ken. Rao, the conqueror. A brother you could be proud of if he weren't such a monster. Where have they gone? Away. My love has gone away. Out of the light. <laughs> Into the darkness. Out of the light? What do you mean? The dungeons of Cassandra are the deepest bits of darkness in the world. Cassandra? Why would he take her there? He's built a fortress over the ruins of the old city. They say it's impregnable and the dungeons escape proof. If only I could have made her love me for an instant, I... I... <laughs> 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 
die by your hand. Only one who loves her as much as... You loved her even more than I did, Shin. No one can love or hate with more passion than a madman. Conqueror, the impressive. Hot damn. I want a closer look. Wait, I want to go too. Don't go far. And be careful. Hey. I can't see a thing from here. Whoa. Far out. What's she doing here? So now they call me Rao the Conqueror, and why not? Every one of my enemies has been annihilated. All but one, the most dangerous, the one I wish most to destroy. But the woman will bring him, and then he shall die like all the others before him. That was Julia? Are you sure? From the way Ken described her, it had to be. I'm sure of it. Lynn, it couldn't have been. She's with Shin. Uh, oh. I'm telling you, there's no doubt about it. I don't know why she's not with Shin or what she's doing here, but it was her all right. Listen, Matt, if Lynn's certain Julia's here, then we have to take her word for it. Hmm. Yep, she's never wrong about things like that. Well, come on then, let's fly. We'll pay her a visit. That palace is huge. How will we find her? Look, it's obvious she's a prisoner, right? And prisoners are kept in the dungeon. Mm -hmm. 
And if there's one thing I know, it's that every dungeon has a secret entrance that someone like me can get into. I'm right, right? The first thing we gotta do is figure out the source of the water supply. It must come from underground, that's obvious. That's the only way the factories in the old city would have had enough water pressure to run all the machinery. Now, if we look at the regional topography, as well as the local geologic, it'd be safer if you stayed here. Besides, we're not certain you saw her. It could have been somebody else. I already know it's Julia, and she's awfully sad. That's why I'm bringing her this flower, Bat. She needs some cheering up. We got a problem. That door's rusted shut. It won't budge an inch. Never mind. I got it. All right, Lynn. Way to go. gonna get you out of here. I know he will. No, you must tell him not to come near here. What do you mean? If he comes here, he'll die. Don't you understand? It's exactly what Rao wants him to do. I'm the bait in his trap, and if Ken comes here, Rao will kill him. But Julia, Ken has no reason to be afraid of Rao. He's just as... <gasps> you must go. And quickly. We'll find a way. Let's We've go. We've got to. Responsibility. Add to my list of crimes my friendship with the one called Fist of the North Star and with a woman named Julia. Well, imagine that. I'm impressed. I grew that flower for Julia from the seeds which she gave me a long time ago. Flowers inspire hope, and hope is unhealthy. You fool. Wiggle. Sir! Hey, you! Stay where you are! By committing this crime, you've displeased King Rao and must be punished accordingly. I'm not here to waste my time fighting with an underling. My fight is with Rao the Conqueror and no one else. You upstart! <laughs> Rao, your man's skill with the lash leaves much to be desired. Give me someone worthy to fight. You miserable mound of dung! <laughs> you think you can take me? Then come on. I'll slice you into dog meat! It's your turn! Uh, we're not through yet! Well, 
seems I'm going to have to fight you after all, Ray. One can't fight one's destiny. Ray, no! Lynn, take care of yourself. There's a whole world depending on you. Now you. You've got to die before you can do any more damage. No, Ray. I don't think that my time has come quite yet. I still have a great many things to do before I die. In fact, killing you was one of them. Then get off your horse, Rao. I'm ready. Are you? Yes, but I see no reason to dismount. I believe I have a distinct advantage the way things are. Quit stalling, Rao. Come on! Death shouldn't be rushed. One should savor it like fine wine and enjoy its aroma. But if, in consideration of your impatience, I must kill you now, so be it. Enough talk! Defend yourself, Rao! You smell it. That's the smell of death. He's dying. You bastard. My goodness. I'm surprised at you. Is that any way to talk to your older brother? 
You must learn to show me more respect. See, it's different now. I'm a king. And a king must demand respect from everyone. history to throw your life away. Please, Ken, think of the children, the innocent yet unborn. And think of the ones you love and who love you and depend on your strength. They too have a role to play in the new era of man. Will they be able to survive without you to protect them? And Julia, what of Julia? She needs you so much. Please, Ken, don't fight Rao. Rao the Conqueror, your time has come. Well now, let's see what you're made of, little brother. <laughs> Come now, little brother. After all this time, you must be able to do better than that. Even your little slut, Julia, put up more of a fight than this. So did Ryak, our dear departed father. He's dead, Ken. I killed him! And now, the final contest is at hand. Little brother, having strength is one thing, but knowing how to use it is another.
idea how far you've come. You're a very good fighter, exceptional in fact. But you're no match for me, little brother, and never will be. I hope for your sake that the hereafter is a better world than this. <laughs> Die, damn you, die! the fist of the North Star deserve to die. Powered without perception is spiritually useless and therefore of no true value. Ryak, you ask me to spare Ken's life, so be it. Fate has entrusted him with a unique responsibility, the protection of someone on whom the Earth's future depends, someone special. You. You have a responsibility, too. He'll need looking after for a while, but you needn't worry. With his strength and a little care, his wounds will heal before long. Ken wants to find me. Tell him I'll be at Ryakin's grave, paying my respects.
wonder what happened to Ken. And Julia. I'm sure he'll find her. He'll come back someday and Julia will be with him, because I know he won't stop searching till he finds her. Oh, look! Huh? Are those what I think they are? Yes! Flowers. Flowers. They're growing again. You ever see anything so wonderful?
Oh, 